All right, Johnny, are you ready to watch our buddy Brad the Chad? Yes. You know, guys, if you're new to Steel Toe, there was a show about a month back that we were really enjoying. Uh, it was Aaron called... Killed it. Yeah, it was called The Junkyard Dogs. It was these 18-year-old kids, and they decided to do like an edgy boy podcast where they talked about the blowjobs they were getting and mm -hmm. how much fucking they were doing and who had sex. And unfortunately for the guys, you could tell very early on in this podcast that these boys were liars. Uh, <laughs> they were. I don't have any better way to put it they were full of shit and they would go on this show and embellish and they would embellish quite a bit. Now we covered the first three episodes of the junkyard dogs show. And there was one guy named, was it Chris or whatever his name was? And he was telling a story about how he went on a, a double date with a friend of his, his friend found a date on Tinder or whatever and then she was bringing a friend with her because that's what you do on a first date, Johnny, right? When you meet someone on Tinder and you're looking to hook up, you always bring a wingman. Yes, exactly. So then he decided that he would bring this Chris guy along with him. And he told this story about how they were at a coffee shop and this black chick, you know, they went back to his car to make out because the other couple was going to their car to make out. So that's what you do. Right. Right. So as they were necking, as he was stealing this story from the 1960s, uh, she apparently uh, sucked his dick. But he was being way too, like, specific with details. And it was really uncomfortable. Like, watching 18-year-olds lie about drinking or sex is some of the most uncomfortable lying to watch because you're like, dude, you don't need to do this. Like, and you more importantly, we know you don't know what you're talking about because right. we've experienced such a... That's not how those things actually have. You've watched porn yeah. is what it is. So we covered that, and then they got really mad about it. And on their next episode, that guy, you know, told us what pieces of shit we were. We were. So we talked to Brad the Chad. Brad the Chad came on our show, and he was like, yeah, he was upset that you called him a liar and this and that. And then, unfortunately, they never did another episode of the Junkyard Dogs podcast. So will never be so, proven wrong now. I guess me making fun of his sexual story from one of the episodes embarrassed him and they stopped doing the junkyard dogs show. So I, I'm I'm sorry about that. I apologize, but you euthanized the junkyard dogs. I youth I put I made programmed the junkyard dogs. <laughs> However, I, there is a consolation prize. There is a silver lining in the dark cloud of the junkyard dogs not being here anymore. And it's the fact that Brad the Chad now has his own channel on YouTube and he's doing IRL content. And the video I saw from yesterday that our buddy Brad the Chad made was Brad the Chad stealing drinks in Reading. Now he's British, so this is in the UK. Mm-hmm. Brad the Chad turned 18. And when Brad the Chad turns 18 in the UK, he's legal to drink. Yep. So Brad the Chad has decided he's going to bring us to the bars and show us his game with the ladies and how oh, he God, makes no. friends at the bar. Johnny, do you want to oh, watch Jesus. some you do you do you want to watch some Brad the Chad? Yeah, I will say at least he's putting his wins or losses like on record. So there's no, there's a lot. It's a lot harder to embellish when it's documented. Exactly. So here we go. Our buddy, Brad the Chad, doing a little show for us. And back. Oh, watering holes, shall we? I have, I have to tell you this about Brad the Chad. He has more charisma than he does sense and talent. And I will always appreciate someone with more charisma than talent because they will always have an overabundance of confidence and nowhere to go with it. And to me, it's fascinating to watch. It's like it's like watching a puppy in a pen do circles 
You know, like watch yeah. him do laps. You're like, this is not accomplishing a goddamn thing, but to hell if I can't take my eyes off this thing. I'm rooting for you to get wherever the fuck you're going. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get anywhere, but for some reason I'm going to keep watching. It, it's like, remember the old worm screensavers and you would always wait to watch it hit the corner and just go straight back from itself? But it wouldn't. And it never would. And you're sitting there going, oh, I think this one is it. Here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. That, I, Why did he put his glasses on to go inside? This dude is already confusing me. I've just described to you a Brad the Chad video. Here we go. This is our buddy from the Junkyard Dogs, Brad the Chad. Hey there, darlings. How about you uh, whip up a famous rock star drink? Huh? I'm thinking rum and coke. Make it a double shot. So he just, he walks into the bar and talks that way. I don't know if he's aware of this or not, but the sunglasses already don't help him. The selfie stick and the camera, that's going to kill anything he's got going right now. I, I don't know. You and, you and I might disagree on this. I think he goes home with one of these gals. I don't think you look at that and go, oh, that guy fucks. I think you look at that and go, oh, that guy's. How could you get rid of the Junkyard Dogs podcast when now you have all these stories you can tell? Of your adventures at the bar. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask. Can I say something? Oh, of course, yes. Um, ignore the name on the ID. Uh, this is actually the reincarnation of John Lennon. Stand you know what the ladies love nowadays, Aaron? Yeah. Love a good John Lennon reference. There's nothing all hot and bothered in the box. There's nothing a 24 year old bartender at an English bar loves than a John Lennon reference. That's why, Johnny, I don't know if you know this, but whenever we do uh, live events and I go to the bar, I always show my ID and I go, hey, pay no mind to the name on the card. I'm the reincarnation of Ty Cobb. <laughs> they just, they get all soaked and you got to almost evacuate the place. They don't and believe it at first, and then he turns around and says, get that out of here. And like, never mind. It's him. Then I, beat him. Up, then I beat up a cripple, and I call him a racial slur, and they go, oh, my God, it's Ty Cobb. What happened? Yeah. Now we know why Johnny's always part of the show. I may steal second base, but he's going to steal everything. I see. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much, my love. Ha-ho. Very forward. Oh. Uh -oh. Talk. Nobody is comfortable with him filming. No. Like everybody's like, look, this guy stared at him like three times now. He's like, what the fuck like, is what this? The fuck, what, what the fuck are you doing? And he just wants to be left alone. He's tired of getting hassled. He's the guy on the Andy's fries bags. He just leave him alone. Yeah, just leave the guy alone. He doesn't want to be filmed in public. But then I think later in the video, the bartender goes to uh, this fella here and he goes hey don't worry that's the reincarnation of john lennon so it's it's okay ash solid gold yeah thank you very much that guy's trying to hide himself all right let's make some friends Oh, God. No. Oh, yes. Yay. Yay. I want to watch Brad the Chad make some friends. Do you, I don't think he has it in him. Do you, oh, my God. Do you guys want to watch Brad the Chad make some friends? And, and by the way, quick note to the middle-aged guy. Pulling your hood, like, to your chin like this does not You'll never know who I am now. Unless you're hiding a hickey, there's no reason to do that. Not live, not live. I'm not doing it live, man. What, are you on Twitch or something? No, no, I'm a, I'm a poo tuber, man. I'm a poo tuber. Oh, one of them. <laughs> uh, is this your lovely day? Oh, today? one of them. No, no we're, we're work colleagues. We just for um, long day at work. Come down for, a, come down for a bit. Okay, you're not, you're not. He does pin, not want to be filmed here. Oh, he's no, trying no, to plow no, that. Uh, no, this guy has. This guy's got a weird middle aged fetish, and he's trying to plow his boss to get ahead in the company. And this guy's fucking it up for him. Now I don't I I don't want to miss the game that he's throwing here at his new friends. Okay, you're not you're not her pimp, are you? I'm, I'm not. Unfortunately. No. Okay, you look very pimp-like. <laughs> <laughs> where does where does work colleagues you know? 
Yeah. Well, you know, you're actually I'm just um, a normal guy. Just a normal guy. Yeah. This is getting very suspicious. You're getting very <laughs> fidgety, very antsy. As soon as I mentioned the uh, the prostitution ring you're running. <laughs> just trying to get some food in. Yeah. Looks like you got a whole meal sat right before you. Oh, I know. I'm going to use that line, you know. Oh, yeah. So is Brad the How Ch is he not getting punched in the face? Brad the Chad needs to get hit. <laughs> like, I am an advocate for Brad the Chad learning very difficult lessons about going out in public and saying that a, a gentleman of color with an aging white lady is a pimp. Is that a perm or are those natural curls? Natural, man. It's always natural. Well, that's what's winning over the ladies. Well, that right there. That's, that's, a, that's some red hair. Thank you, man. It's rock and roll. Yeah, it's uh, Beatles inspired. You know, I actually am the reincarnation of Lennon himself. Oh, are Jesus. You, are you putting that accent on or is this... Yeah, uh, you know John Lennon. Oh, do I know John Lennon? Oh, baby. You're looking hey, right at him. I'm not from third grade. Hey. I'm a Liverpoolian. You're a Liverpoolian. Don't I'm a Liverpoolian. <laughs> you got an American accent and it's whoa, probably, whoa, it's West that, Texas. It's all that time I spent uh, in the States, no, man. No, 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 don't kill oh. a kid I, I want this guy to fuck up Brad the Chad. I feel like he's going to call him out and start throwing. This, this guy, is not. At any second, this guy could just grab Brad the Chad by the face and slam him against the booth, which I'm not totally against. Hey, man. I wanna hold your hand. Oh, if you get I wanna more hold your maybe. hand. <laughs> Is that where you're from? I know. Nah. I'm a southerner. A southerner. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not southerner just because you're from Berkshire, like. <laughs> right. Just carry on the fliddles and speak your truth, because these glasses. Whoa! Don't whoa! Hold. Whoa! Don't touch the chromes, man. Do he I tried know? to. Oh, did he? T oh, he touched his sunglasses. Okay. Don't wear sunglasses indoors if you don't want them to get fucked with. I mean, you're kind of wearing a bullseye. God, Brad the Chad is really just obnoxious to just about everybody he runs into. I I just feel like he is once again falling into that vein of IRL streamers where I'm like, I just wish people would punch you. Like, it right. just, like the real world would just be like, no, this is dumb. Brad Ooh. the Chad <laughs> could have a great channel because, yeah, he could have that will they, won't they vibe. Like, will they punch him in the fucking head or won't they punch him in the fucking head? And everybody's rooting for this guy to get punched. Like, when you saw that guy a little tipsy and the beard and the broad chest, did you not, was not your first impulse like, oh, I hope he hits Brad the chat. Yeah, as soon as he called out the accent, I'm like, oh, this is going where we needed to. All right, right. this guy's going to intervene. This guy's going to hit this man, and that could be kind of fun. Reach for my crowns. Take care, my love. We look after each other. Right. Why are you hijacking my table relationship with I'm these two? I'm not hijacking. Why are you hijacking you my relationship with these guys? I always used to wear glasses. I'm a night shift person. I ain't taking off the shades, man. They're the source of my power. They're the what source power? of my hey. power. <laughs> and you have to think he's hot, right? Right. No, I think he's just a retard. I think he's just a dumb 18-year-old kid who doesn't... Like, he doesn't have a personality, so he's borrowing one from, like, different comics and people he's seen and stuff like that. He knows... He's 18, and he knows he wants to be famous on YouTube. He just doesn't know exactly why. This is why he goes and does this. He takes his phone. He starts filming. He has no plan. He has nothing he wants to do. He has no script. He has nothing ready. He's just like, I'm going to start sticking cameras in people's faces, and gold's going to happen. Now, he should have learned with the Junkyard Dogs that there's more to this than just hitting record. You can't yeah, just winging hit... it isn't your friend. Right. You've had four episodes of the Junkyard Dogs to find out that winging it, eh, it ain't for you. Put something together. Although, he did. He's the reincarnation of John Lennon, and his sunglasses mm. are the source of his power. Can someone tell Yoko Ono she has a job to do? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bullshit. I was going to say Mark David Chapman maybe has... <laughs> A few requests. Oh. <laughs> hey, folks, have a great evening. Yeah, honestly, everyone. Well, um, I don't know how you know that guy, but uh, anyway, uh, I, they want you to leave. Leave them alone, Brad the Chad. They want to order some food, and you are bothering them. He is Here. trying to land a home run. This was supposed to be an easy win, and you are throwing the game. You got the guy with a slump buster over there, and you're fucking it up. Regulars, mate. Yeah, we'll talk. See through your it seems head. you've already got a friend. It seems like you've already got a little bit of companionship with this fella, so I guess I'll just hit the road. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Shake my hand, sir. Oh, you're gonna... Oh, he's, I thought he's gonna... 
Már Ah! 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 No, Brad the Chad. Bad. I want a spray bottle for this little fuck. And just, no. Stop. I will say now that we got the camera angle swivel, I understand why he's going with it. I mean, maybe not the best looking slump buster, but I mean, eh, all right. Okay. <laughs> There's some assets there. Brad the Chad. Do you have a YouTube channel? Brad the Chad. Can I, um, can I check it out? Oh. Of course you can, sir. Don't, sir. Sir. Don't there's, feed the bears. There's no reason for you to do this. You still have time. You can turn this thing around. You don't have to watch this. You are an innocent. You Stay that way. Sir, you don't need... Look, we're invested. We've had this stupid fuck on our show. We've made fun of his podcast before. We ha we're in. You're not. Stay I wish out. I could quit this thing. Oh, it's like watching a guy, you know, uh, uh, open the Jumanji box and you just go, yeah, there's no, no, you don't have to put Jumanji away. Trust me. Play Monopoly, you'll be happier. Anything from Parker Brothers. Are you ordering your food? Yeah, I think I'm just ordering. Call in chips. I think you'll enjoy the Brad the Chad channel, like yeah. It. Oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll subscribe. Yes! Subscribe to you. You, you didn't press the bell. You didn't press the bell. Oh, you you want notifications as well? What a little cunt. You got a subscriber. Why don't you leave? Yeah. Boy, you know, win. Brad the Chad does not know how to quit. He's never heard the term quit while you're ahead. You know what? I think it's because he doesn't get ahead that often. So it's There's kind a of part of the sale that when you have it, it's called closing where you just you, you close it and yeah. you go. No, dude. Wrong bell. I meant this bell. <laughs> Did he just point at his dick? And Did tell you just do a hacky radio bit in real life? No, you gotta ring this bell, and he pointed at his cock. So wait, gotta ding my dong, ho ho! So it's a gay thing now. So Brad the Chad is the gay Lennon with the he wants the guys to touch his. All right. Well, that confirms what I thought man. about you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, bro. Have a good one. Have a good night, yeah. Stop have shaking a fine hands. dining experience, and have a great night with this one. Oh, I sure will. Now we've got Brad the Chad just And they're walking. all hey, crying man. as he leaves. make sure we're on good terms. Oh, on good terms, man. Oh, good, good. In a day, I needed a laugh and a joke. Yeah, you just needed a sick. <laughs> but don't need the mask, man. It's not a mask, my guy. It's just Glass a little eye up. protection, brother. Well, well, you know, things seem to get a little messy wherever I go. It's that nothing splashes in my eyes. As long as it's not the double. As long as it's not the double. God forbid. God forbid. Honestly, mate, no. Don't need a mask around here. Oh, Jesus. Nah. It's Friday. Why did so he kept this part in? He remember he this isn't live. He edited this. He, yeah, and he decided that this was a part worth keep. Oh my god! And look how long he talks to this fucking guy. He talks to him for another two and a half minutes about what? I don't know. Well, here, okay, he's got a new victim of harassment. Here we go, Brad the Chad from the Junkyard Dogs podcast. A little more, and then I got to tap out of old Brad the Chad and get to some Delia stuff. Chugging. You okay? What? I'm thirsty. Oh, it's a dehydrating day. The sun's been a shining. You think I'm a cretin because I'm about to down these two pints. That's what you think. Oh, he's going to drink some beers people left behind. Oh. Oh, Brad the Chad. I never thought I'd say this. We need to bring back the junkyard dogs. This man needs a leash. And uh, SC Motorsports pointing out, now he's outside without the glasses. Like, now you should be wearing the sunglasses. Where right. did they go? This man has terrible sunglass etiquette. It's There's no rhyme or reason to this fuck. Yes, go on. Then. You don't believe that I'm going to down go the two then, do it. Just do it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with that. Oh, he's tr oh. oh, but I need it. I need it. Okay, this is now super desperate. You need a dentist. Those two front Would teeth are like really a problem. Oh. And now she's gonna make me. She's gonna make him drink the rest of it. Are you trying to get me drunk? <laughs> This woman's trying to get me wasted, guys. She's trying to take me home. 
Oh. Linda, are you trying to get me under the, 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 the duvet right now? The linen sheets? Are you trying to get linen under the linens? Oh, Jesus. Ew. I'll just point in your direction if anybody can hear. I'm nearly 60. You could be my son. And well, I'm certainly not gonna get my sons underneath the sheets, but they do drink. Uh, you're telling me I need to look out for your kids? I think you need to damn it. Go on, come on then. Oh my God. I kind of hate her for putting up with this. Like, either get in on the bed or leave. This weird, like, curmudgeonly, like, look, I'm here, but I don't want to be. Like, no one's forcing you to, lady. Move on. Uh, you know, I know when to tap the fuck out, and I'm tapping the fuck out on old Brad the Chad. Sorry, bud. Sorry, Brad the Chad, but I gotta, I gotta call it a day. Ugh. Brad the cringe artist, Marley Analytics saying. Ugh. Uh, I actually kind of feel bad for him. I, I mean, I don't, but that's fine. I mean, look, we've had this guy on the show before. He, he wants to get something going on YouTube. He wants to you know, be a personality and he, but, but he, again, he doesn't want to work at it. He wants to walk have some experiences somewhere, man. Yeah. He wants to go start filming stuff in the UK, have something crazy happen and get that viral moment. It's fishing basically. Uh, hobo chili recipe with nine ninety nine says I got my Canadian night night kit. I got maple flavored Holocaust sprinkles, an autograph photo from Trudeau and a gift card from Tim Hortons. I thought I was returning to downstairs. Jesus. You know, there are very few brands, and I'm thinking of like Hershey's, Coca-Cola, Chevrolet, all the big brands on Mad Men. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, you can't, if you're a Mad Men fan, you can't say Coca-Cola normally, Johnny. You know how you have to say Coca-Cola? Oh. Um, Coca-Cola. Oh, Jesus. Just like uh, Jim Hobart from McCann Erickson. Uh, Canada has started a, a product, a brand, that is taking off just like Hershey's, which I had a Hershey's bar yesterday. The kids had s'mores, and I went ahead and ate the leftovers. And uh, Hershey has been around. Johnny, what year was Hershey's founded? God, 19-something. I don't know. 1894. 1894, damn. Hershey's been around a long goddamn time. Well, in Canada, they've created something similar to Hershey's, to Coca-Cola. It's mm. called Made. Do you Are you aware of Made? You, you're talking about the medical program? Yeah. I'm not aware how that is similar or comparable to Hershey's. Um, it's just, it's going strength to strength and everyone is getting really, really excited about it. And they want to use it for a lot of different reasons. It's becoming a multi-purpose tool, made is. And that's why I'm saying it's becoming a very successful brand and it's gone strength to strength because it hasn't been around that long. Uh, made is the program Johnny's alluding to uh, where they kill you. <laughs> if you're uh, diseased or... You're looking at a painful death, uh, the, you know. And, and you know what's nice is MAID isn't one of those things where you have to go to MAID and say, I'd like your help in leaving this world with dignity. MAID is like Beetlejuice, where it just kind of shows up. And you're like, oh, hey, MAID, what's going on? And they're like, you want to die? And you go, sometimes the people are like, oh, you have no idea. That would be wonderful. And then sometimes uh, MAID shows up you know, like your Alexa heard something and Maid goes, oh, hey, I heard you might want to die. And you're like, no, I'm just having a rough day. Like my car broke down and I don't have enough money to go get groceries until Thursday. And I'm just, I'd you really know, like a leg brace. Have you tried death? Yeah, that, it, that's exactly it. Like, man, I, you know, I came back from war and I'm not feeling very good. You want us to kill you? Is, no, you, you, nobody summoned you. So no, I don't you, No, Actually, if you say the word sad, we just show up. What was the other Just, one? I'm having a lot of trouble with this depression. You know what cures that? Not waking up anymore. <laughs> right. All right. Do you find yourself waking up sad? Well, we can fix that first part. Join made. Well, now Canadians are starting to get used to the idea of having made around, and they're actually kind of using it as like kind of a, a cure-all. 
okay. if you will. Um, that, it oh, is technically the final solution. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah, there ain't no coming back if they're any good at their job. Nothing well, beats MAID. Uh, MAID is called, it stands for Medical Assistance in Death. Mm -hmm. That's the MAID program in Canada. And now, I think that MAID started off as the Canadian government going, yeah, we'll, we'll fucking make our citizens live in fear and make them get in line. And now it's kind of turning on them where the citizens are like over embracing it to the point where the government they built suicide booths and they're making a profit. Right. Where the government's like, no, guys, we weren't supposed to use it that way. One third of Canadians who were polled are fine with prescribing state sponsored suicide for homeless people. <laughs> oh. So. The Canadian government started this program. They're like, ha ha, you know, all these people taking up room in all these houses that we could be using for affordable housing, living until 90 years old. We could instead convince them to just tap out early and we could move in four or five homeless people to each house. And then they're like, oh, we've got a plan here. But then the problem is Canadians got the plan. They took hold of it and they went, hey, I got an idea. You want to solve the housing problem? Why don't we just wipe out the homeless? And the Canadian government's like, no, we have a government health care system. These old people are going to bleed us dry. Why don't we just wipe them out? And they're like, no, better idea. If they got fleas, treat it like a disease. Let's get them the fuck out of here. What do you say? It's Look, like we have, we have the same idea. Bodies in bags. It's just we're arguing over who the bodies are. Right. We're haggling over, you know, who and when so not the b reported on this and they're saying that you know they're you know not the b is like conservative and christian so they're like oh killing people wrong and look what they're doing now and blah 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 uh, whereas i'm kind of a glass half full kind of guy and i'm going well the canadian government may be you know really shitty regarding this made thing and they may be trying they're like trying to kill veterans and shit but at least the people are, you know, putting it in the right spirit. To right? good use. Yeah. One third of Canadians fine with prescribing assisted suicide for the homeless. I mean, it's, it's, it's an idea. I mean, look, there's a lot of people out there who don't have a lot of ideas. And at least the people in Canada are giving people ideas. I feel like if you don't want to be one of the people on that list, you know, just try and, you know, get a job and stuff. Maybe put down some habits and things if sure. those are holding you back. I mean, make some changes. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, how many of these people are going to be opposed to that, by the way? Not to be a dick, but how many are like, how about we just let it go in, in the nicest high you've ever had free right. of charge? Oh, hell yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do that. Yeah, I bet you 33% of the homeless people are for using made on the homeless. At least. And then the other homeless that don't take that program have the other programs that are now not so overburdened. I mean, really, I don't know why the government doesn't love this idea. Right. Okay, Just, but I, I will say this. You want to ask the homeless and see how many of them agree. I would counter to you. We don't ask dogs if putting them to sleep is a good idea. <laughs> right, but we need to have a conversation while we put them to sleep. And so, you know, it's like, all right, well, let's talk about this. And uh, don't mind the IV. It's for your fluids. Uh, um, Wasabista says, free tickets to the Joy Camps in Saskatchewan. Hooray! I mean, I would rather, you know, the made robots come for the 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 destitute and the, the homeless rather than, like, a veteran who's having a rough one. Because, like, that's their whole thing. Bring them. In Canada now, when you apply to the, the government health care system for a chairlift for your house, they also mm -hmm. send you pamphlets on the MAID program. Right. Because like I said, they're like, hey, I know chairlifts are expensive. It sounds like your life could be, you know, really, really a hard slog. Have you considered just not doing it anymore? Yeah. I know you think your life is pretty cool, but you just, you know, this mo the, the mobility issue has you a little bummed. Uh, but the rest of your life seems totally fine. And this chairlift will set you straight and you know, solve a lot of the problems in your life. But you know, and I'm just spitballing here, uh, you want to die? Well, no. I just want to be able to get up the stairs comfortably. It's just part of the aging process. You know, shit happens. Like, well, that's our motto here at Mage. Shit happens, and we can kill you for it. No. 
The poll referenced in the story also revealed that 73% of Canadians are big fans of the country's current maid system, which allows people to commit S legally and medically for almost any excuse whatsoever. I mean, Johnny, this is, it's a, you know, let me put it this way. A party isn't fun if you've got people there who are complaining about how they don't want to be at the party. Am I right? Right. Let them go home. Right. Let them go home. And, you know, you know, and if they need a designated driver, let's get them a driver because they're bumming me the fuck out. And if they're bumming Not me... Not just the- any driver, a good professional driver with right. high-quality medication. I mean car. We need Al Luntzer Jr. We need Michael Schumacher on this shit. So... If they're bumming me out and they don't give a shit either way, I ask you, who's losing? You could say I'm, family, but if someone that depressed really have that many people that give a fuck. And besides, if you're one of the people if you're one of the people using made, you're going to be gone. You clearly you already have factored those people into your decision and have decided you don't give a shit. Like, or more importantly, the, the repercussions won't be yours to deal with anyhow. So right, okay. they're going to have to figure it out. If anything, you're teaching them how to be tough and persevere. You're considering using maid. When did, uh, when did selflessness become a thing? Yeah, exactly. Is- if there's one thing about the clinically depressed to the point where they want to use the maid system, uh, it, it's their caring for others. <laughs> that impresses They just yourself. have too much empathy. The world needs to end. Yeah. Right. I, I love that when people are like, yeah, when you're thinking of doing that, do you ever consider the people you love? No, of course not. Look what I'm willing to do. No, I don't give a shit. I don't care about them and their opinions. And you're like, oh, shit. That's the thing. Like, whenever people are trying to talk someone out of doing that, they're always using reasons that would convince them. And, and they're not in that place either. Right. And those people that are thinking of making that decision don't think the way you do. So you're like, hey, man, um... You know, the 4th of July is coming up. I have nobody to celebrate with. I don't give a shit. And you're like, yeah, but the fireworks and the grilling, I can't afford a grill or steaks. Thanks, asshole. Not helping. Think about the people who love you. There are none. (laughs) Hence, we're here. I know. We think we project a lot of like the shit that would bother us about dying onto that person. And you're like, no, you don't understand. They are there because they don't have those feelings that you do. You're listing the reasons why you shouldn't do it. Well, good. That would be funny if a person like you're trying to talk out of it goes, no, I agree. You shouldn't do that. You sound like you got all kinds of shit to live for. I have none of that. So leave me alone. All I have is this plan. Now back off. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I've been working on the last six weeks is this. And now you want to take it away from me. How's that supposed to make me feel better? And then you're like, hey, man, I don't, um, I don't mean to make matters worse here, but your cat hasn't moved for like 45 minutes since I've been here. Oh, motherfucker, just leave. Just go. I've clearly got things to do. I'm going to be swinging from the ceiling beam fastened entirely from cat hair. Thank you very much. Planning on the cat disposing of my corpse. Shit, now I got to get a new cat. (laughs) Now I got no way to get rid of myself. Oh, it's not like I can have someone come by and pick me up as compost, you know? Not like I can get a dog. They're too stupid to put their own survival over you. They'll just sit there and mourn your corpse until they're dead. They'll just sit there and be like, he's waking up any second now. He's just fucking around. Dogs are dumb in that sense. So the poll, so 73% of Canadians are, they like the MAID program. Uh, The current system recommends veterans commit S because they can't get the government to take care of them by installing wheelchair ramps. Yeah. So the government tries to like save money on, they're they're basically using the MAID program to save money. Yeah. They're like, oh man, should we get this veteran a chairlift or should we just ask him if he wants us to inject him with a hot dose? Look, we're using a formula, A plus B equals X, where A is the veteran's benefits and B is the amount of life expectancy they have. Now, if X is more than the cost to give them S, we suggest the MAID program. Oh, man. I, we overheard you at a bar saying that you, uh, your wife was nagging the shit out of you. 
Have you ever considered a uh, sodium pentothal cocktail that might uh, that might solve your problem? Uh, we heard that your ache and back is killing you. Well, good news. <laughs> we know how to get rid of that back pain. Poiming it. Poiming it. Uh, Union Jack says, any chance this kind of health care crosses the border? Now, people have argued this in the United States for a long time. Like, whether or not made should be a thing here. And I, I will say, personally, that I am all for physician-assisted endings. Uh, I think people should be allowed to make that decision for themselves. Uh, I, I don't even know how much of a process should be put in place first. Uh, I know that At I don't... as much as one as we use for gender uh, reaffirming. Oh, so none. Okay, so the feeling yeah. of the child. Yeah, that's true. The way our medical system is fucked up now, we can't have a made program here because we'd let six-year-olds, you know, cash out. We'd let a we'd let a fucking kindergarten go to the cashier's uh, window and go. Yeah, I think I'm done. I had a bad day of fruit. Timmy, you haven't even had lunch yet. Yeah, I lost the puzzle piece. It's all no. over. F it. We're done. I had a bad day at freeze tag today. I was frozen most of the time. I don't want to be frozen in my life, you know? So I think we're good. And by the way, the picking process in kickball is completely fucked. And uh, I know I'm better than being picked over Timmy Parenti. He's just, a piece uh, of shit. I get out on the playground and none of them look like me and it's time I go. <laughs> well, that's because you go to school here in Harlem, Timmy. That's we get it. Uh, left handed says, I'd say a one year process, but they should undergo enough psychiatric care and psychological care before that. Well, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of saving the system money by, you know, because make no mistake, Again, the, the, the whole, whole thing, the whole thing is not based on, you know, taking care of the patient. The whole thing is saving the system money. That's why they want it. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper to just give them the eject lever when they're ready to go. Like, don't let them think about it. Right. That's how you end up with someone on the dole. Exactly. Isn't that great? All these companies or all these governance that put these uh, like programs out there goes, oh, we're for the people. Oh, we want to have uh, these social networks. Like, uh, we better uh, start calling these people. They're all on the dole and we're running out of money. That's it. Yeah. Like left handed says, oh, right. Well, screw morals then. Yeah. Like. I don't know if the made program comes here. I don't think I'd be okay with it just because of the people running it. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. But because uh, like you said, yeah, we'd, we'd start like off in 10 year olds and going like, well, they said they were sad. So. Hey, man, death is death. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It doesn't matter. It comes for all of us eventually. Just some of us earlier than others. Uh, Cocktiff says a year, my ass immediate. Oh, uh, you have you have doctors that are rebellious in the made program in the United States and someone comes to them and they go, I want you to do this for me. And the doctor's like against made. So he goes, do it yourself, you fucking pussy. Don't ask me to do your dirty work for you. Be a man. Like, are you supposed to do this? Not in the least. Don't tell anyone. Let's go to something a little more cheery. A crackhead, <laughs> a crackhead Rhode Island city councilman named Matthew Riley. Uh, he's a lawyer, or I guess you could, I guess he was a lawyer. Uh, he was a <laughs> Cranston, Rhode Island city councilman. He's lost that gig too. They got reports of a man sleeping in his car and they found former councilman Riley passed the fuck out with a crack pipe in his hand. Uh -oh. <laughs> could you imagine you're a lawyer and you're smoking crack? Hey, isn't crack a, a laborer's drug? I feel like you you got to be pretty confident in your like your legal skills, right? Like if anyone comes out, I got the chops to argue how this is okay. Because yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm smoking crack, but I'm a lawyer. His closing arguments always seem to have a lot of oomph behind him, and we could never figure it out. It turns out that during recess, he would just go smoke crack. <laughs> just, some days he'd have a little too much. Let's check oh, it out. God. I have the police body cam footage of this guy. Uh, the sound will kick in <laughs> a little bit here. Uh, there he is. Let's see if we can see the crack pipe. He's holding the crack pipe and a lighter when they find him. I'm not seeing. I'm thinking it's the lighter in the right hand. Because I don't think I don't see anything that's pipe like. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, pipe was in the left. 
Was that the pipe or the lighter? I'm thinking it's the pipe in the left because the way he just kind of covered it up. Oh, the, yeah, they went for that hand immediately to try and get something out of it. That looks yeah. like a Bic. Maybe, maybe that is the Bic. I, it's going too fast. Where's the... Where's the crack pipe? <laughs> this guy is so out of his mind on drugs right now that he like he tried to hide it real quick, and then you saw him grab the shifter like he was going to drive away for a second. Yeah, hi, officer. Hi, hey, what you got there? Oh, nothing good. Just rocking oh. and rolling. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, how long has this guy been awake? How much crack have you done? That's a lot of crack. Those eyes look like he's been getting punched for three rounds. I mean, that much baggage normally only comes with an airplane ride. Oh, no wonder he fell asleep in a parking lot. He's been up smoking crack for a long time. You can actually cut the bags open and count the rings to find out when the last time he slept was. Oh, Sam Brinton tried to steal those bags. <laughs> Oh, that is a crackhead ass motherfucker. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna pat you down. Yes, sir. And put into into like your fingers. Mm -hmm. Into like your fingers. Do you have any weapons on you? No, not at all. Uh, sir, not for nothing, but uh, I don't know how to say this. You look like shit, and uh, we wanted to ask you a few questions. You smell like crack. Yeah. I smell like crap. No, crack. No, you smell I like smell crack, crack cocaine. Well, I haven't been smoking crap. No, sir, we, we know you haven't been smoking crap. We're, you know what? Never mind. One twelve. Yes. All right. Roads open. Pause. I'm going to stop. Try not to. Uh, Rotate on. Oh, uh, no way, dude. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. I was just taking. I was just on my way back from court. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that feeling when you're fucked up and you haven't spoken for a while and you trust your speech pattern to come out okay and then you're just completely betrayed by your system because you're geeked on crack? <laughs> and you're not noticing that you're being betrayed? It's like, no, this is going great. We're doing yeah. good. I think I've got this. Uh, so they say, no way, dude. So they know him from being a councilman and a lawyer. Right. And they see the idea and they're like, no way. And he's like, right? And they're like, no, sir, I don't mean like, no way, this is awesome, I'm meeting a lawyer and a councilman. I'm like, it's more no way, I can't believe I caught you smoking crack. No way, right? Oh, no like, way you're going to let me go yes. now. <laughs> yes, I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. <laughs> well, that is the look of a guy who's saying, you believe me, right? Like, he just threw them that bullshit story. And he's just, he's looking at them going, so we're good, right? So well, you're going to let me go now. Yeah. Come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands. So it's like. Wait, sorry. Listen. I <laughs> he has an excuse for everything until they tell him you have a crack pipe. And he goes, uh, please, uh, sir. Sir. I want to watch that again. Because, like, for the choking in your sleep he's got, he's like, oh, I have sleep apnea. It's really bad. <laughs> like, we found a crack pipe. And he goes, uh, please, sir. There's no I need to sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands. So it's like, wait, sorry. Listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that. And I, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. You know, so a rescue's going to come here. Yeah. Oh, so, they're going to check you. So before you ask me to just sweep this under the rug and try to bribe me or anything, remember, it's on camera. Look, it's uh, it's already happened. Uh, <laughs> you're on candid camera. I, yeah, it's... I love how the cop's, like, anticipating that the crackhead's going to try to bribe him. And he's like, look, I'm going to try and save this guy a little bit. You all, you know, you, as far as I know, there's no drugs anywhere, so I no. can't. You know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health, a well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I obviously have to document it, you know. 
You can have that back. Thank you. There will, will be no arrest. What? There will be no arrest. No. Um, is there any... Are there any drugs in the car or anything like that? No. There's a fucking crack pipe. Yes, he's going to admit to all the drugs he has in the car now that you yeah. talk about... Well, you got me. Hand in the crack pipe job. Yeah. No, nothing. All right. This guy right now is crossing his fingers in his head. He's like, holy shit. They found me with a crack pipe, and I'm not going to get arrested. Let this stand. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it, was, a, it was a relapse. I claimed 13 years. All right. Wow, isn't it weird? One time I got a rock. Oh, it's just weird how that always seems to happen. It's just, they're always clean for 13 years, and then the one time you caught me, God darn it, it just happened to be the time that I was smoking crack. The one time. Johnny, do you believe him? No. No, me neither. I just went through a really, really bad divorce recently. Okay. It probably might have something to do with the crack. I'm guessing she didn't want to stay married to a junkie. No. Just a thought. I'm guessing being Mrs. Crackhead wasn't as appealing to her as it was to you. Um, uh, do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out, out, and like looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Um, That's why somebody literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Well, somebody better find that fucking snitch and deal with them. Ah, uh, that good Samaritan who fled as soon as the officer was involved. Yeah. You fucking ruined this guy's crack nap. <laughs> he was just coming from court, and he had a nice little crack nap going, and you had to fuck it all up. Yeah, that's why he fell asleep in the parking lot of the gazebo salon hair, nails, and skin uh, store. Oh, Jesus. I really feel like uh, it was probably another crackhead who's like, look, I know crackheads. That guy's a crackhead. That's a crack nap, motherfucker. Uh, I, no, not that I know of. Not that I know of. I get everything from Pedro. He does the good <laughs> shit. I, I, I was just tagging on the way. I just... Uh, Greg, I'm just on a second uh, front handle. What? What? You know what I love about this is, like, I'm thinking that the cop is doing that thing where you just shut the fuck up and you let them bury themselves. Yeah, because he's digging. Yeah. Because th this guy, he is incapable of shutting up because he can't believe that he might not get arrested after having a crack pipe in his hand. And so he's like, he doesn't want to shut up because he's like, it's too good to be true. So he's like, maybe if I keep talking... Like, this will keep going well for me. Like, he's just incapable of figuring out how to keep his keep out of this, basically. This is like the dude who just realized he's about to land a 10 and he has no idea why it's happening, so he keeps talking. It's like, no, 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 the more you yeah. do this, the less your chances are. Just shut up and take the win. You've got the W. Just, you know, kneel on the ball, kill the clock. You're going to be fine here. Oh, oh. Oof, sorry. I'm sorry. Can you uh, sit over towards the front of your yeah, car, please? Yeah. Sorry, I'm breathing a little heavy. I've got a lot of crack in my system. Thank you. If you're unsteady on your feet, just no, find maybe nervous. one of those. Cars. Oh, no, I could run a fucking marathon right now. Are you kidding? My heart's going bang, 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 bang. I got a marching band in my chest. This is awesome. <laughs> you ever done crack, officer? It's great. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. That, oh. That look, hey, Johnny, what does that look like? That looks like bits of crack rock. That looks like bits of crack, yeah. I believe you have crack right there on the seat. Boy, this search wasn't difficult. Can you are 22 all before a civil complaint, please? Yeah. Guy just looked at him and goes, you didn't find any crack, did you? <laughs> Oh, he's not saying a word. He's just going right to the passenger seat. Uh -oh. By the way, if you're just joining us, this is a city councilman and lawyer in Rhode Island who got busted asleep in his car with a crack pipe in his hand. You think the passenger seat's clean? Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, oh, no. Jo Johnny, what did... There was no more drugs? Johnny, what did that look like? That looked like a little baggie of crack. That looked like a baggie of crack to me, too. Hold on. 
That can't be. There's no drugs in the car. Oh, uh, yep. That. Yeah, that looks like a baggie of crack. But oh. how could that? He said there were no drugs in the car. What would this guy lie? That I mean, I can't believe this politician and lawyer lied when asked if he had drugs in the car. Son of a bitch. If you can't trust him. And is that a mustard packet? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh-oh. Oh, he's got Skittles and a Gatorade. Because when you're doing crack, everyone has their favorite crack snack they take before. Because you know what you need in your system when you when when crack is coursing through it, Johnny? Sugar. What's that? Sugar. Now, I um I like going for uh, the wheat thins myself. I'm a wheat thins guy. <laughs> Is he going to... You want me to get him over here? Would you mind? Yeah. Um, I, I don't mind. Just uh, do me a favor. Can you come over to the front of mine? Thanks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're oh, moving my... you away from your car. This is bad. By the way, do you want to go get your nails and hair done at the Alon? I feel like anyone who goes in there doesn't come out, right? That place used to be a strip club, or it is on the evening. I don't know. Yeah. Either way, it's a house of ill repute. Just, just hang out on the front while I make this phone call. Thanks. Uh-oh. What's he going to say on that phone call? Guy's totally clean. Oh, there's crack rocks on that seat, too. 112-1023. Oh, he's mute. Okay, so he's muting the body cam while he makes this call. Up oh, now we oh now we've got EMTs we got the fire department here oh lordy yeah we still have no sound this looks like a lot less of a uh, not getting arrested situation yeah still no sound so he's turned he's muted his microphone let's I'm gonna skip around here oh boy they're tossing the car yeah we've already seen the crack got a dirty ass car too oh there's another lighter. Ugh. How much more crack do we have? No, I'm sure he's clean. Why would he have more stuff? Oh, what the fuck that, is that? That looked like a crack pipe. Yep, that's a crack pipe. That's a crack pipe. Oh, boy. Oh, but you know, that looks like a very freshly, uh, barely used crack pipe. It's not <laughs> coated with resin all over the place. Oh, that's, uh, what's that thing? Oh, that's just like a little toy. Oh, here we go. Now the sound's back on. Oh, now he turned it back off again. What the hell? Come on. We want to hear the goods. Sorry, guys. It's taking I want to know what's being said. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's taking a long time. It's just a lot of crack. <laughs> yeah, they're just having a discussion right now about the crack. And now how much crack they're going to find. What, what they're going... Oh, here we go. All right. Here we are. Well... Now they're telling him he's getting arrested. Come on. So, um, it's over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just crack on wheels. Yeah, just shitloads of crack. Do they talk to him again, or does he take off in the ambulance? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, they're cutting up the... Oh, yeah. Oh, they found oh, all the... Oh, dude, there's... It looks like there's like half living out of his car. There's like private toiletries. Property. We're good. We're on private property. Man, this guy's... Yeah, look at this. He's got a problem. I'll do all the uh, evidence stuff for him. Thank you. All right, so um, is he rescue's good with him? They're, they're just finishing oh, up right he's now. Got the, okay. He's got the bro on everything over yep. there. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on. It's they're, all they're finishing up right now. They're ba yeah, they're basically saying he's got crack all over everything in his car. Yeah. It's everywhere in there. They said they're finishing up with him. Does this mean he's coming back out? Please tell me he's coming back out. Oh, he muted himself again. Uh-oh. He's back on again. I want to see if the guy comes out of the rescue. Yeah, I want to hear him defend all of this crack. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, please. Oh, yes. the door's opening. Oh, yeah. 
There he is. Okay, here's our boy, lawyer and city councilman in uh, Cranston, Rhode Island. And they just... 15-minute power nap, and he looks right as rain. Yeah, and they just found a fuckload of crack in his car. Right. Yeah, I know. It's not like I have, I have an option here, man. Sorry. Let me know if they're a little too tight or anything. They can loosen up. You know, it's funny, Johnny. This guy's like, sorry. Nothing I can do. Tell me if these are too tight. I never see, like, black people in the hood get arrested this way for drugs. Yeah, they're not like, hey, man, I understand. You're just trying to, you know, make ends meet slinging some dope. I, I get it. Just uh, this is where, let me know if these are too tight. Yeah, this is where, like, people's politics get too, like, they it interferes with their reality. Because, like, there's nothing wrong with just admitting, like, look. The, there's There's different legal systems for different people. And... I just don't see this arrest going the same way if this is in, say, I don't know, um, a crackhead in Queens or Harlem, perhaps. I just feel like this crackhead is not the norm. <laughs> don't mute. Don't mute. Don't mute. Talk to him. Nothing in oh, I need to go to wallet. Oh, he's just locking his keys. No, you got anything on you? No, 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 no. I'll, uh, crack up. Alright. There's stuff all over that car. Your mother gets in that car, I bet she sits in that, touches her face, her mouth, and goes down. I have no That's idea. It's all over. <laughs> it, so they're doing like the old Italian thing, like God forbid your mother gets in that car, she sits down in there, she touches her face, bada boom, all of a sudden your mother's a crackhead. You know, we see it a lot here in Cranston. And then it cracks you, all over the car. Well, like, can I get a little hit since I'm did, going to jail anyway? In the one last bump for the road. Did you hear? I want to play it again. Did you hear what he said after the cop told him there's crack everywhere? Oh, it goes down. I had no idea. It so, look, no, no, I mean the, the Yeah, you don't know what you're buying. Yeah. Did you buy that today? Yesterday. Yesterday. And yeah. Said, you don't, is the same guy you usually buy it from? I don't usually buy it from anybody. They're not all honest people. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, so they're letting him know that it was fentanyl in the car, not crack, and he has no idea that it was fentanyl. Wait a minute, they know it was fentanyl? Yeah. They Well, that's what they were doing on the hood when he was muted. They were field testing it. Oh, Jesus. And they found out he had... So this dude could have been dead. Oh, yeah, he could have been dead. Big time. They probably... They might have Narcaned him while he was in that, that... I'm betting they did. Yeah. But either way, it's just... That's, again... You, why are you doing this? What What's worth... What is that high worth it? And you're a lawyer and a councilman? Like, you've got... Oh, crack must be awesome. <laughs> I mean, no, I uh, but at least be respectful about it. It's all over the car. I mean, you're paying for this shit. Get your money's worth. Right. Clean, clean up a little smoking. bit. Yeah. I mean, I mean uh, once or twice. Yeah, but whoever you buy it from, if you if you continuously buy it from them, you know who you're buying it from. This, you don't know what people are putting in it. No, I I understand. You know, they may have made that, but that's a big rock you got in there. What's that? A fifty dollar piece? Uh, Hundred. Yeah, so, like <laughs> yeah, how dare you, officer, disrespect me by lowballing my crack fentanyl. I'll have you know that my glass piece is top of the line. Yeah. When I do drugs, I don't fuck around. What is that, a $50 rock you got? Uh, uh, officer, 100 Well, you're getting ripped off, no offense. Just, just got back into this. Uh, you gotta, this is going to, listen, I, this is terrible situation. We're all in a tough spot, but we gotta do what we gotta do right by the numbers. It'll help you in the end. Believe me when I say This is such an old school cop. I love that. He goes, hey, terrible situation we got here. You know, it's uncomfortable for us. It's bad for you, but this is gonna be good for you in the end. And if we go to the other crack bus they do on the other side of town later today, yeah. then we'll see this again. He'll be like, look, I understand this is horrible for you and your family, but in the long run, you're gonna grow from this. And yeah. We're all gonna be good to people. Actually, I actually have uh, audio. Uh, reenactment of the um, the crack arrest from the other side of town that they made. He's got a gun! <laughs> 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 
Not quite as cordial as this one. Oh, uh, yeah. And you'll say to- it was a hairbrush. Oh, damn it. I did it again. It was a month from now. Good best thing never happened. That's what they all tell us. That's, you can't go down this road anymore. No, no. God forbid we find you dead. That, that would, that's terrible. You yeah. know what I mean? You were down in the car. No, I mean, I've been appointment set up for the 17th to go get help. Yeah. You just, you, you, you got to get on a program right away. No, I, I, I mean, I, I look at you. Yeah. You're not the Matt Riley that we know. Trust know, me. So I and I, I, I listen, Thanks, your health and your well-being is worth way more than any political career. I, I don't care. About yeah, care we'll keep it. Kids. We'll keep it. No, we know you don't care about your political career. We found you passed out behind the wheel with crack in your lap. Uh, we, <laughs> we're aware that you don't give a shit about your political career, sir. Look, officer, I just want you to know, I'm not trying to be a senator or nothing. <laughs> yes, sir, we know. Listen, we're not... You can't hang me on this. I want to be president. <laughs> what, Please, what, we, we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So, and then, arrest records are public record. I'm not going to lie to you. But, what we can do for the kids. Yeah, but there's, there's, you're disbarred. There's not much we right? can do on this. Unfortunately. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying. You know? Oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of media for kids, it's as much. As yeah, no. Disbarred. Listen, we are only required to release what we release, and we won't. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. Yeah, and the media is going to get a hold of that, and then it's going to be a thing. Uh, they suspended his law license. I can't imagine why. Yeah. He uh, he also resigned from the Cranston City Council last Thursday after police released the body cam footage of his arrest. Yeah, just uh, that's horrible to disparage Brian's town that way. I mean, you just... <laughs> we name it after him, and they just go and... Just fuck it all up. All muck up the works. God damn, that guy was high as fuck. Those eyes look terrible. Oof. Got, you look like he got, got stung by a bee. Like, yeah. just, like you were swelling so much. And then he's got fentanyl in there, and he doesn't even know it's fentanyl. fentanyl. And that shit is scary, man. I've, I, I, I do not like, but like you just fall asleep. There's nothing yeah. to it. Just like you just feel warm and fuzzy, and you just, you just take a nap. The audience is right. We should have known something was up with this guy when he tried to legalize crack on the city council. And we just, we didn't. Just put- saying that crackheads are people too. Goddamn. Uh, thank you, Jake Ceiling Rat, for becoming a steel toe bro. Uh, Hobo Chili Recipe says, I don't see how this can get any worse unless he has a dead fetus in a Coleman cooler in the trunk and tasteful pictures of children. Right. Like, I don't think this guy can fuck himself any harder. Uh, although, Laughing Gasser, with a great point, he says, Marion Barry made a comeback. It's very accurate. The man's right. He did. Marion Barry came back and became the uh, mayor of D.C. So... It is all things are possible in your fentanyl arrest. Uh, well, Salty says crack must be an amazing feeling. Who would ruin their lives unless it was right? I mean, this guy had seemingly everything fine, everything good, everything going for him. Well, he did lose. Uh, he, he, he did have a, I guess he's going through a hard divorce. I mean, who could have seen that coming? Right. Between the haze and the crack pipes. This guy seems like a decent enough fella and she's just going to leave him. Uh, left-handed said that muted clip before was probably him saying the guy's private info. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, that. I did not text you this yesterday. I forgot. Uh, if you could make it here at three o'clock or before three o'clock on Thursday, uh, we will be doing our compound media episode. We're going to be back on compound this Friday. We've got a steel toe episode. We're going to do it on Thursday. And, and, uh, Johnny at three o'clock. For our Compound Media special, we will have a very special guest, Mr. Alex... uh, Oh, God, jeez, I almost said Alex Jones. Mr. Alex Stein. Alex Stein. (laughs) We'll be on the program at... uh, It seems like this was orchestrated. I feel a little... I mean, why does he even know who I am? Why, Why is the cripple kid even there? Well, I tell you what, Alex Stein wants to be on with us for our Compound episode, and, uh... You have made several assertions that Mr. Stein is a homosexual and you are now going like you are now going to get to face Alex Stein face to face as it were to and look 
Alex Stein referenced on Misery Loves Company last week. He is a regular listener of Steel Toe. He does watch the show. So there is a chance he has heard your, your claims, and he will be ad addressing them on Compound Media this Friday. Get the grinder receipts. We're going to need them. See, I you you can bring whatever uh, 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 whatever evidence you have, but Alex Stein will be on the program. Uh, oh, that's gonna be fun. D Gulag says Alex Stein is on Fish Tank now. Yeah, uh, that Fish Tank thing is fucking bananas. Uh, Alex Stein went on or is now on uh, Sam Hyde's Fish Tank crazy ass fucking reality show thing that he's doing. And Good uh, for him. I saw a clip of it and there, he brought Don Terrius with him and Don Terrius is smoking crack in one of the bedrooms and they discover, I mean, it's now, now I've got to go watch all this fish tank shit. Like, Why oh, is it like inside jokes where you have to start from the beginning to get where we're going or I, I've, I, I, I've got to go look at all of it. It's, I, I don't, I don't fully understand the concept yet. God damn it, Johnny. A black man smoking crack. I got to go see this. Uh, Nicholas with five bucks on PayPal. Thank you very much to Nicholas. We appreciate that. Uh, 245 away from today's goal. Not only 245 away from today's goal, but if we hit it and we do overtime, the Kelly Jones, Alex Jones ex-wife, uh, cease and desist that she sent us uh, will be gone over. In overtime. David Lyons says they got kicked off last night. Who, Alex and uh, Don Terrius? Oh, yeah, he got evicted from the house for smoking crack. In the house. So they kicked him. Uh, Jet Neptune kicked him out of the... Uh, the Sam Hyde had house. to love that. That's got to be beautiful. For this Alex guy. lost his mind. Yeah, do we... Now, I don't... I haven't subscribed to the fish tank thing. I probably should. There was a music video you were supposed to play yesterday, too. Uh, fish tank, Alex Stein... Yeah, okay, so they do, they show Alex Stein coming in, evicted for medicinal crack. Okay, yeah, oh, we have the clip. Okay, this is, uh, this is Fish Tank. This is, uh, again, uh, Sam Hyde's thing. And this is, there's uh, Sam's boy, Jet, Jet Neptune. And now, so, I'm wondering, like, do the people who are in the reality show, like, they're not in on the work. But Jet and Alex have to be in on the work, and Don Terrius has to be. They have to know that it's work. not real crack and that it's a gig. Like, but do the people in the house know that it's a gimmick? That's I hope not. That's got to be like, because otherwise, this is a really, really weak version of uh, Meet Joe Schmo. Because that was, yeah, that was a great show for the one guy that didn't know that it was going on. It was amazing. So I mean, if you did that. It's at least something. I mean, you can't have them in on it. Otherwise, what's the point? Right. The thing that's getting me about Fish Tank, like the thing I'm not understanding about Fish Tank is who, it's like everything else Sam Hyde does. Who's in on it and who's not? Like, that's what's confusing me. I'm, I'm too normie for uh, slingshots the Fish Tank are rental. Thing. Yeah, the, sling, the slingshots are rental. So Danny doesn't do drugs. No, she does hair and nails. <laughs> that's my favorite is when they tell iDubs that that fucking girl was just an actress he hired. And gave her 500 bucks. And he's like, what? Shut up. And he knows there's literally nothing he can physically do to Sam across from him. So he's just like, right. I am so upset right now. Like, yeah. yes, you are. Yes, and you will be. You will be. <laughs> All right, so let's watch Don Terrius get kicked out of the uh, fish tank house for smoking crack. What, Jet? I don't need a fucking light. I don't need a fucking light. I smoke. I don't need a fucking light. I don't need a fucking Alex is fucking dry snitching on everybody. You wanted to smoke a cigarette with coke in it. He's lying. He's lying over me right now. I, like you shouldn't because you're a cokehead. I didn't say anything about Don Terry smoking crack, so why are you singling me out? How did you go? You're killing me right now. Relax. <laughs> Don't let me. Do you actually do coke? Have you been no, smoking coke? No, I haven't, like, smoked cigarettes or done coke in here. I mean, I didn't smoke in here. Uh, in here. <laughs> I haven't smoked cigarettes or done coke in here. I go outside and do it on my wrist like a pro. That's a really honest person, you know? At least they're, they're not just going to give a blanket... 
you know, rejection of the fact that they've done coke before. They just they haven't done it in here. Look, I'm not going to pass a screening test, but you're safe. I didn't do it on your premise. All right. Okay, so you did not. That has nothing to do with the problem at hand, Alex. Dude, I'm he's smoking crack. He's smoking crack. Oh, my he's a homeless guy. It's medicinal crack. It's, <laughs> it's medicinal crack. He's a homeless guy. It's medicinal crack. His energy, his energy levels have been low. It's I'm not good. I'm not I'm not good. 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 I'm Dude, they are wrecking the fuck out of that house. <laughs> just, well, it looks like some other people have done some numbers on it already anyhow. so Dude, I've seen clips of, like, Sam's in there with a fucking uh, AK-47. I've seen Sam Hyde going in there with boxing gloves and punching out shelves. And, like, and I see, but the problem is I see all this stuff out of context. Like, I haven't watched the actual thing. I've just seen clips. And I'm like, this looks like a fucking madhouse that he's running. Would want to live in this? They can't be. This, this has got to be a thing to like mock like reality people like this. Because this fuck has been walking around with his camera yeah. the whole time. Vance, before I go, I just want to say he's saying goodbye to everybody. So Alex is leaving the house because Dontarius was caught smoking crack. <laughs> so now apparently, so do all these people now believe that there was a homeless black guy in there smoking crack? I hope so. I mean, if that's what's going on here, this is brilliant. Because these people, I'm guessing, are doing this for internet fame? Yeah, I guess so. And I've, I've heard from people that Sam is, like, really hard on the people who are clearly clout chasing out of this. Like, he fucks with them harder. And the ones that are there to actually be a part of a thing, like, he's a little yeah, nicer no. to. I, uh, I'd, I'd be all for it if that's what's going on then. Because then if they have no idea that this shit is a work... Then it's just like they think, oh my God, I'm part of this crazy thing. Yeah. And they think it's all real. Yeah. So he's brought Alex in. He's brought Airsoft Fatty in. He's brought a few people in. Yeah. Dude, get the fuck out of here. All right. All right. All right, fine. I can't even believe Alex and Dontarius left. My favorite cuckold power couple is gone. Alex and Dontarius are my favorite fulos. Probably the, my favorite people to enter this house yet. And now they're gone. What is that? I don't I know. I they just let Dontarius smoke a little crack. <laughs> now Alex have to leave too. This is all too fucked up. Now this house is empty and boring. We don't have our chaperone to guide us with our daily schedule anymore. Let's yeah, see, like, she's fucking around. So, like... She's doing this to be a character and get... So, but, like, but is that the, uh... Is that the whole thing with, with Fish Tank? Like, am I, am I doing it right? Like, am I... Like, because, again... I have no idea. I've only watched. I'm trying to figure out whether she's in on the bit or not. Like, is she playing a character? Because this is committed. But that's what I mean. That's like, am I doing it right by me just basically going, um, uh, you know, like what's a work and what's not? Like, am I supposed to be thinking, hey, what's a work and what's not a work? Who's in on this? Who's not in on this? Like, is that how it's supposed to be digested? Because if so, then I guess I'm doing it right. 
I'm I'm guessing so because it's a Sam. That's the problem. It's a Sam Hyde thing, right? It's how it's, often have you nailed down Sam Hyde? Right, I'm like all for I, everything. I feel like the second I get a Sam Hyde thing, I then I get nervous and I'm like, oh, I don't know shit about this Sam Hyde thing. I have no clue. I'm too much of a normie. Every time I'm like, no, I I think I know what this is about. I just in the back of my head I hear. The slingshot's a rental. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Never. <laughs> right. The thing that haunts my memory is, no, she does hair and nails. Like, every time I watch a Sam Hyde vehicle, and I go, oh, I get it. I hear, uh, no, she was a friend of a girl I fucked in art school once. And I go, I don't know. This is, no, this is not what I think it is. That fucking girl's in on it. And then I hear, the slingshot's a rental. And I go, no, she, no, she doesn't know. She thinks this is a shoot. I... Uh, Hobo Chili Recipe with nine ninety nine says, Tucker is a monster. He slapped my wife in front of my children and looked at them and called them all Jayaboos. Uh, oh, wait, that was e nocturnal emissions from last night. You are a fucked up guy, Hobo Chili. All right, Johnny, so yesterday we left uh, Brad the Chad. He was uh, getting drunk in Reading mm -hmm. in the UK. Now, uh, he's a kid who... I guess, lives in the UK, spent a lot of time in the UK as a youth, but he also spent some time in the United States. So he's yeah, got a, I think he spent some time in Texas or something. Yeah, he's got a weird fucked up accent. Uh, so he went around, he was 18 years old, and he decided to go around Reading, drinking at different pubs and talking to strangers. And Brad the Chad is an extremely charismatic douche. Uh, he goes and he tells people that he's the reincarnation of John Lennon, uh, he makes terrible jokes to people. He does like wacky, lame Tom Green type shit, like drinking uh, old beers from other people's tables. Excuse me. Ugh. That one, that one still makes me want to wretch just a little bit. I mean, come on, man. And, this backwash. This we don't know what was if that guy was a tobacco chewer. Like, oh, right. Don't don't do that. So, well, Brad the Chad, the, the way, the reason he's kind of part of the Steel Toe universe is that he did a podcast called The Junkyard Dogs. And it was him and a bunch of other guys. And they would, they're all a bunch of 18 year old kind of edgelords. And they wanted to talk about, you know, blowjobs and getting fucked and we have sex and this and that. And we kind of called them out for lying about all this shit. And we, we listened to, all of their lies and we thought they were funny and we made fun of them and we would always listen to the junkyard dogs podcast when it came out well unfortunately the junkyard dogs podcast is no more they haven't done one for over a month the last one they did they the guy was yelling at us for calling him a liar so i i feel like we kind of we we didn't tend our garden very well and we killed all we our killed plants that, yeah but the 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 thing we get out of it is that Brad the Chad has decided to go solo. And now he's doing his own IRL streaming and he's going around his neighborhood drinking and talking to strangers. So we left off at this woman. Uh, Brad the Chad was talking to her on the patio of a pub. And, and by the way, is it just me or does the UK just always look rainy, cloudy, and depressing? Yep. It is uh, it is a traditionally gray sky in London. Uh, that's I know one person uh, actually loved that because like there are people who love London because of the the gloomy dreariness. Like oh, it's not straight sunlight and thing. I mean they have sunny days and stuff, but yeah, no, this is no oh, thanks. All right, well we cut this off at about ten minutes yesterday because I was like, all right, that's enough. He's just douching it up, and there's you know seventeen sixteen minutes left in this whole thing. I'm not doing it. Well, one of our listeners, Brian, wrote to me and said, Aaron, Brad, the Brad the Chad thing gets better. You got to give it a part two tomorrow. You got to check it back out. So here we go. Brad the Chad drinking in Reading, 18-year-old kid, just making friends and douching it up. Who the fuck's linked up? Oh, my God. I've met, you know what? I've, I've met some blue persons. I've been in America. I've been in bloody whatever, and I've never met anybody quite like you. Yeah, <laughs> She's had it with Brad the Chad. I've been in America. Yeah. Remember, I love how we are now the status quo for weird. Yeah. We're, Take we're the, that, Japan. We are, the nat, we are the worldwide global measuring stick for fucked up. She's like, look, I've been to America, and I've never met anyone as crazy and fucked up as you are. But, I've had a beer with a yank, you twat. <laughs> But remember, this woman came to Brad the Chad while he was on the patio, 
and he was drinking other people's beers in front of her, and she kind of played along with him a little bit. She and, kept daring him to do it. She egged him on. Yeah, and then Brad the Chat annoyed the piss out of her so bad that this relationship has now ended with her saying he's the most fucked up person she's ever met. Well, he did start saying, you're just trying to get me drunk to take me home, and she's like, wait a minute, this is fucking weird. I'm like 60, no way. And he tells everyone that he's the reincarnation of John Lennon. And you guys, it just gets funnier every time he does it. Fucking mad. Mental <laughs> madness gone fucking wrong. They call me Brad the Chad. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> She's having, look at this. We all made the same reaction at the same time. We all just went, oh. It's humanly, uni that cringe so hard, it touched our soul. Everybody. We as species, just naturally. This is how you know we're all one organism. Uh, Brad the Chad just proved something very metaphysical with what he just did. We all, we all had a sympathetic cringe. Yeah, we all at our core are made up of the same things, and we're one life force. We're one existence, because he went, oh, Brad the Chad, and we all went, oh, God. Oh. No, it doesn't like this woman was born and raised in England. We mm -hmm. were born and raised here, but yet when he went, I'm right the child, oh, we all went, Oh God. Like he could have done that and we could have watched it with a kid in Mumbai and he would have went, Oh my goodness, this is terrible. This man is a complete douchebag. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. Any culture. Jesus Christ, you need to have a fucking drink and calm down. You're goddamn right. And you know what? She'll never forget the day she met Brad the Chad. <laughs> Are you sure yours? this was a double? Are you absolutely A positive that this was a double? If I, if you want to water it down, we'll put some more ice in there. No, no, I think it needs a little extra. I think it needs a little extra. No, no, no you don't. No, no, because here's the problem. You're already, like, without the booze, we've seen before, Brad the Chad, you're retarded. You are incredibly obnoxious. They do not need to aid and abet a mentally deficient person getting more intoxicated and by the way if you if you didn't catch this video yesterday that guy next to him is like he's like a londoner he's like an he's an a proper englishman at the pub and he's he's actually been very nice to brad the chad so far but we're all kind of rooting for him to snap his neck i think we can all can we all agree on that yeah i feel like at some point He's going to just lose his shit and just go ape on him and go, That's, I've had enough of this, and just beat the piss out of him. And you know, an Englishman might do that if you start fucking around with the female bartenders. That's yeah, because they that's the only lady they get to, you know, ogle from afar. And, you know, then they go back home to the wife. So that guy, the, that. have you ever seen the movie The Great White Hype? No. Okay, the guy to the right here, he reminds me of Irish Terry Conklin's trainer in the great white hype who's like super racist and trying to rile Terry Conklin up, but Terry's Terry abhors his racism. <laughs> it's like, you're going to kick his black ass, Terry. It is the ass of a man that I am going to kick. Your ass. Fuck off. I want to know my urethra. This guy was being cool outside. He's just showing off in front of the ladies. Stop uh -oh, showing off in front dude, of the ladies. Seriously, don't pool. fuck with Nick Frost. He's uh -oh, researching uh -oh. a role. Here we go. He's telling the death trap guy that he's just being cool in front of the ladies and now he's shedding the backpack. Is this going to be what we wanted? And Brad the Chad is going to get smashed in the face. I We're supposed to be looking like it's going that way. Boy, I fucking do one. Well, I better bring my rum and coke. <laughs> oh, Brad the Chad is ski daddling. <laughs> Aww. What did that Englishman say? That was a cool phrase he used. Fucking Fuck. do one. Fucking do one. Boy, I fucking do one. Well, I better bring my rum and coke. <laughs> Guy doesn't realize he's talking to John Lennon. You're talking to John Lennon, pal? Fucking do one. I'm already a ghost. You're a fucking ghost, I have oil. I'm fucking pushing up your ass to make you smoke it. Fuck off. Delete all the footage as well, man. I'm going to masturbate to the footage. How about that? <laughs> okay. You know All what? right. Okay. He brought me back with that. I'm sorry. Brad the Chad reeled me back in. All right. Fine. 
will fucking masturbate to the footage. <laughs> Broken clock, meet twice a day. <laughs> Holy shit. Blind squirrel, meet nut. <laughs> oh, speaking of nut. Fucking do one, boyo. It's like that, like every American tourist dreads hearing that voice say those words when they're at an English pub. You're like, oh shit, a fucking, a fucking pub hooligan just threatened to beat the shit out of me. Time to go. And Brad the Chad, this is all of us though. When all of us were douchey 18 year olds, we could never let anyone else have the last word. Like as you get older, you're like, oh, that guy's a lot bigger than me, drunker than me, and more willing to fight than I am. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next place and just defuse the situation. When you're 18, you're like, I can't let this guy get the better of me, even if it costs me my teeth. Oh, I'm going to masturbate to the footage. I got to hear that one more time. And he, like, he was at peak douche, too. Like, Brad the Chat was at peak <laughs> douche. Like, I'm John Lennon. I'm a ghost. Ah. And you're like, oh, I And you're like, all right, someone punch him. And then he does that line. You're like, nope, never mind. He must be spared. He bought himself another. He bought himself another couple of minutes. Do what? I'm already a ghost. You're a fucking ghost, I have oil. A fucking push it up your ass to make you smoke it. Fuck off. Delete all the footage as well, man. I'm gonna masturbate to the footage. How about that? I need to bar that guy. He's causing problems. She's now she's going to the bathroom. She's like, I'm gonna get the fuck up. Or is that? I want nothing to do with this. Is that the bathroom or is that the office? Uh, that might be the office. Cause oh, that no. looks like there's like a kitchen window or something back there. Hold on, I gotta go back a little bit. You need to bar that guy. He's causing problems. Yeah, I couldn't tell what that was. It sounded like she called for somebody as well, soon as she went in the back though. <laughs> He's chewing the ice. He is a chad. <laughs> so he's leaving. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to hit the road. I'm not the problem. It's the fat ass. He's the one who's causing all the problems. <laughs> I really wanted to see that fat guy get a hold of Brad the Chad. I'm really sad the fat guy's not there. I feel like he's he's dropping those uh, accusations pretty willy-nilly considering there's uh, no one there to refute them. So, okay, so she did go to the office and she went and grabbed this, you know, six I'm guessing that's guy. Lee because I heard her say Lee. Yeah. So. Lee, we need you out here. It's like, no, just let the fat guy take care of it. It'll be fine. Not me. I'm the good guy that's in not... this equation. I'm the protagonist. Fuck. Yeah, just pound that. Hey, That'll man, help you. I'm just finishing my drink, then I'm going to hit the road. <laughs> Did you see the way that guy was speaking to me in there? As if I'm not the reincarnation of John Lennon? As if I'm just oh, kind of Jesus, some kind of that. common squabble? Oh, God. Brad the Chad just cannot help but make his first impression to everyone be douche. First is low-rate Nick Frost. Now we got second-rate uh, Jason Momoa. This is an amazing bar. I want to go there. That is, Yeah, that is like fished out of a river Jason Momoa. That's not me. That's right. In this wonderful world, you can be whoever you want to be. That's what that flag stands for, after all. Fuck. You did. Hey. 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 Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my. Oh my God. Two retarded people hooping at each other. That's all. This is. This is just two people making noises at one another. This is like watching two amoebas in a mating dance and like, oh my God, it's so simplistic, but beautiful. I hope they combine and form a multi-celled organism. <laughs> Just see what that evolves into. Oh, man. So Brad the Chad is undeterred by, you know, the threat of getting his ass kicked. Now he's found a fellow fucking waste of space and they just start making noises at each other. No words, no nothing. And Brad the Chad is that super confident teenager that all the adults, everyone else, they're all stupid. They're all, you know, they're lame. They're not living their truth. He's just going to go all out and he's never in the wrong. This I, is the second time he's broken barriers with body language. Like there's no real communication here, but something's happening. It's in your soul. It's who yeah. you are. I, ha I do have to say though, like this is bringing back memories. We were all, I'm not saying we were all Brad the Chad, but we all had a, a lack of self-awareness back then. We had Chad moments, moments of yeah, Chad. Yeah, we had moments of Chad.
What's all this for then, huh? Well, I'm just looking to get fucked up, man. And I say, I might as well do it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wait until you pull a bird? I'm looking for birds. That's exactly what I'm doing, you know? I got a pocket full of gold. I got a pocket full of hope. And I'm looking for pussy. <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, boy. He's found his people. Guys, don't encourage Brad the Chad. This is like feeding a zoo animal or Look, feeding a wild animal. You guys might not understand this because you've had the internet your whole life. But back in the day before that existed, this kind of meeting was a rare thing in, in, in general. Yeah. Nowadays, people don't even try. This is just beautiful. We've come to the right place. Ah! Oh, no. You can Ooh. smell it and he's gonna go in Whoa, there it's and fragrant. tonight. There is Free a go fuck ton of pussy in there. Fucking arms. Come on, man. Woo! Well, hey, here's hoping. I'm out. I'm out. If those guys are fucking our society, society for the night. doomed. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fucking good night. Have a good one, bruh. <laughs> okay, let's get fucked up. Hey, buddy. Do me a pint of Stella. I'm looking to beat my wife tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> they love ripping on stuff. Oh. Okay, I have to admit. Now, again, Brad the Chad keeps cringing me out, and then he keeps winning me he back. He buys us back. It's like that weird kind of like way, uh, like a cocky asshole, like flirts with a girl. Yeah. Where he like kind of bags on her and bags on her. Then he takes one to the nuts to kind of humanize himself every once in a while. That's yeah. just. Give me a pint of Stella. I'm going to beat my wife tonight. <laughs> hey. I got my, my Provy. I got my Provy and I'm ready to go. What's going on? Yeah. Wow. Jesus, Billy Zane, stop it. All right, Dreads, look, I need a pint of Stella and I need it now. Dreads. Oh boy, he just called oh, the Oh shit. He just called That's the a face of like, do you fucking hear what you just said to you? Yeah. Like that guy looks way bigger than him. Like way, way bigger. bigger. And he looks like he's in decent shape too. Um uh, you don't call that guy dreads. I I'm just waiting like every bar he goes into, he finds at least one person who wants to kick the shit out of him. I'm just waiting for one of them to jump. The lady on the other end too is like, "Did you just fucking call him that?" Did you just call Tom Dreads? My name, my name is Will. Well, you, they didn't give you a name badge, pal. You ain't been working here long enough. So, um, for now, I'm gonna call you Dreads. No, I'm not gonna say oh, that. Dreads, God damn it, man! I need to get fucked up tonight. Don't you understand? You don't have to call me Dreadlock, man. That's kind of racist. Racist? <laughs> He's calling Brad the Chad a racist. This is great. You don't have to call me Dreadlocks, man. That's kind of racist. It's not real. I mean, again, I hate to take Brad the Chad's side, but it's not really racist. I mean, he's pointing out that you have dreadlocks. That's anybody could have dreadlocks. You yeah. have dreadlocks. Like right. if he called you dreads because you were black, that would be racist. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If you had a fade and he called you dreads, that that would be pretty racist. When I was 12 years old, I contemplated getting dreads myself. I think they're awesome, man. And it's not a race thing. Yeah, but don't call people dreadlock. That's... How about I call you sexy beast? How about that, that huh? Better. That better. Nice, nice. Look at that. Well, Brad the Chad has this weird talent for pushing people to the fucking edge and douching it up so bad. And even with this guy, he brings it right. He, he's good at How diffusing. does he reel them back in? He reels everybody back in. And he just goes, how about I call you a sexy beast? And the guy gives him a smile and a laugh. And he goes, that sounds good. Is he getting the pint here? I hope so. I think he's getting the pint. Got a wife to describe you some way, huh? <laughs> well, sexy beast, I'll have myself a pint of Stella. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot at first. That's all right, man. I'm John Lennon. Well, at least you called me Liam and not Noel. That guy's a goddamn sellout. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I have to question the edits. He's going to score the pint of Stella off of fucking dreads here. Well, he paid for it, so I mean, I think he has it. So he's already waiting. waiting. Of course, of course. God damn it, you got that. This guy's more crazy than I am. Don't know where that came from. Here you go, my friend. 
Looks good. You're doing me a service. You're doing me a service. Thank you very much, sexy beast. See you next time. All right. So now we've got. He's got his new. Uh, he's got his new beverage. He's putting a little more okay. alcohol in the tank. He's going out to a patio. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have you make a guess here. Does Brad the Chad end up finding someone who wants to kick his ass out at this patio? Oh, absolutely. All right. He's already walking around drinking a Stella. That's the first step. So get this. I called the barman Dreads. He's a black man. He thought it was a race thing. And here you are proving that even white people can rock killer Dreads. She's got killer Dreads. This guy's got a killer mullet. You guys are fashion icons. I love it. Woo! I have an right. idea. Mullet's got a... Got to be getting annoyed. Yeah. Oh, God. Is that a guy or a girl? It's Pat. <laughs> uh, so Brad the Chad's whole gimmick is he gets shit-faced and then he just walks over to people having a nice private time and bothers the shit out of them. All right? All right, you sexy beasts. Enjoy your alcohol. <laughs> Lads, lads, lads. What? <laughs> All right, we have a winner. Oh boy, Christopher Lloyd's gonna kick the shit out of him. Sal Governale's gonna. This is like the uh, love child of Sal Governale and Carl from Who Are These Podcasts. If they had a kid, it would be this guy. Just oh god, how you know what I love about this guy? He doesn't bother with pretext. He doesn't bother with like getting to know people. He just can kind of read them right off the bat. And this mm -hmm. guy has Brad the Chad figured out from Jump Street. He's just he like, looks like uh, he's doing pretty well since 300. I think he's going to be okay. We have here. You guys are having a good time whilst the wives are at home doing their crocheting, I imagine. Huh? Well, are you a certified star or what, man? I don't think I owe you a goddamn cent. Are you a star? Well, I'm the reincarnation of John Lennon, I should think as much. I'm only the greatest rock star of all time. Yeah, but he wasn't American. He wasn't a what? American. Well, uh, this is what everybody says, you know. It gets a little tricky with reincarnation. Sometimes people end up where they're not supposed to. So now, wait a minute. So, I, I love that, like, Brad the Chad lives in the UK. He's from the UK originally. He spent some time in America. And right away, all these English people can pick him out as an American right away. Because his accent is muddled and it seems fake. It seems yeah. like if I went over there and was doing a British impersonation, it's like, no, you're not going to get the nuance. You weren't here. Yeah. Uh, a love me do, uh, watching the wheels. Uh, love me do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's trying to throw me off right now. What do you mean? You're going to tell me that that was written by Ringo or some shit? Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you see that guy in the background <laughs> making a dick sucking motion? <laughs> Look at this guy right here in the background as he's talking to this old dude. Oh, this is fantastic. Everyone already hates Brad the Chad in this entire patio. Uh, watching the wheels. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's trying to throw me off right now. What do you mean? You're going to tell me that that was real? <laughs> oh, my God. He double fisted it. They've all got, they've all got Brad the Chad figured out. He's a Peter Puffer. By Ringo or some shit? Fuck off, man. That shit was written by Lennon himself. <laughs> those guys, those guys. You in the table with the pretty ladies. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, I hope he goes to the table with the pretty girls. Please do. Please, Please do. go talk to the pretty girls. Please go talk to them, Brad the Chad. You can do this, buddy. Uh, well, well, I mean, how low are your standards? Well. That's the pretty girls. Too. It's only a mere meter away. See this, <laughs> See this young lady here. Whoa, whoa! Did you try and trip me up? Was that a was that a desperate attempt to get my attention? Was that a desperate attempt to get my attention, baby? The thing is. Boy, he oh here we go. I was just gonna say he is the most uncharming person I've ever seen in front of a camera. Holy fuck, is that Riley Gaines? What the hell? <laughs> Where is this pub? Here we go. Let's watch Brad the Chad talk to the gals. 
I've got a thing for redheads, and I wasn't going to have it any other way but me coming over uh, this way. It's not natural. Ah, uh, why am I stealing your girl? Oh shit! We've got another one that wants to beat the shit out of Brad the Chad. I I was kind of hoping he was wearing a steel toe hoodie for a second there. Yeah. It was the right color. I was like, oh please tell me. We got a couple VIPs in the UK. Maybe they came out to represent. Oh, that would be... F so this guy... Oh, am I stealing your girl? No, you're pissing me the fuck off. I think he says you're pissing people off. He's not... He's he's doing this for everybody. So the blonde was really happy to hear that Brad the Chad was into redheads. That made her mm -hmm. day. Drell? Oh, why? Am I stealing your girl? Oh, come on, man. This happens everywhere I go. Right. Maybe take a hint, Brad. It's almost like it's a you thing. Yeah. Oh, man, this happens everywhere I go. Otherwise, mild-mannered people want to beat the living shit out of me. All right, now extrapolate the common denominator. Yes, you can do this. Let's work through it, Brad the Chad. We can figure this out together. Just trying to make some friends. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, no, Brad. No, Brad, no. I no. believe in you. Brad, don't. You can do it right this time. Don't do this, Brad. This is not... Oh, boy. He's going to do it, isn't he? Yes, he is. Are you a real Rastafarian? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Brad, the Chad might in fact be the least likable human being who's ever turned on a camera. <laughs> I don't think you could do any worse unless you went right up to them and just said, I want these people segregated. <laughs> <laughs> you walk right up to him and you go, if you care to join me in the parlor, we will be serving white cake. <laughs> he could have walked right up to him and just gone. There's a monkey on the front porch. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you hit the wrong guy, bro. You hit the wrong guy. You hit the Rasta. Oh, so that kid must have thrown something at Brad the Chad and he accidentally hit the. Oh, boy. You hit the Russ. Oh, they are going to kick. I want to see everybody get up like a pack of zombies and just beat the shit out of Brad the Chad. Does this video end with him just being burned alive like a <laughs> like in a Wicker Man scenario? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! I, I won't. All right, I'm pissing everybody off. I'm pissing everybody off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. On behalf of rock and roll, I am. Goodbye, everybody. The reincarnation of John Lennon is oh, parting oh. ways. <laughs> it wouldn't fucking sound like that. It's never had you. It's never Pollyon, I know, I know. I'm just having a good old laugh. Hey, man. Hey, give me a break, brother. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is what happened last time. Oh, Being all I can afford. Out. I'm from Liverpool. I live a simple life. If I don't secure a solid refund here, I'm going to be pissed. They oh, my <laughs> if I don't secure a refund here, I'm going to be pissed. I I made everyone want to kill me. I was heckled all the way out of the bar. And I have, I have the audacity to ask for a refund. This does make me kind of want a vacation in uh, England, though. I, I, I will admit, I am almost tempted to go out on a night on the town with Brad the Chad just to see what happens. Right. I want to, like, watch it from a safe distance or have a security guard, something. You know how sometimes you go out with someone to try and get them laid? I want to go out with Brad the Chad to try to get his ass kicked. And I want to I baby... You don't have to try. You just have to wait. Right, but I want to baby face it. Like, I want to be the good guy and then get Brad the Chad's ass kicked. My drink. Wait, my pride. Yeah, everybody take a good look. Everybody oh, take a good God. look at the loser who's getting kicked out. Uh, oh, wow, hey, they gave him his, the bad guy. They gave his money back to him for his beer. Wow. And they took the beer and they just had him bamboo, sorry. Jeez. Well, let's go. God damn it. 
Those motherfuckers kicked me out. Kick out Fuck. Damn. Oh, he is on. He is remarkably well, here unlikable. Here I am, alone again. Shall we find another watering hole or what? I didn't even get through my pipe. Yo, you cool to get me in? Hell no. Why hell you no? Black? Because you're black. You what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck just happened? Are you gonna put me in your video? No, because you're black. I feel like I have to go back and clip this later. I need that. <laughs> Did you? Okay, so w would you say that Brian, who's who told us that we cut this off too early yesterday, would you say that he was right? He was absolutely right. Yeah. This is amazing. That is the wow. most beautiful line I have ever heard. Because you're black. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. 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 Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Even the little kids are gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Do you know how unintimidating you have to be that a bunch of thirteen year olds are gonna chase you down on their bikes and beat your ass? Oh, and in this sad is... news, John Lennon has died for the second time as his reincarnation <laughs> was murdered by a small bicycle gang. Chasing me! Help! Help! I fucked up! I fucked up! Watch out, guys! Whoa! They're coming to get me! Oh. Now somebody trip him. Yes, hit him. Now kick the kid's bike over. Do something. Let's smooth things out, boys. You got some zesty ass get out of my car. We gotta smooth this out. I ain't no racist. I've got this guy called Bodyguard Mo. He's black just like you guys. I'm always around him. He's one of my good friends. I'm oh, not no. a racist. I'm not a racist. Oh my god, and now there's just a shitload of black people coming around as these kids all go, this guy said he won't put us in our video because he were black. I like these kids. I'm not a racist. I love Jeez. black people. Why are you so much dropping? No way, let's go. Let's do this, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Guys, they're, now they're the bringing road. him with? I gotta go change my camera battery. I got shit to do. Can you suck my dick? I gotta, no, I can't suck your dick, you little sexually perverted little freak. I gotta go get more fucked up, so Can I'll see. No, you can't come with me because the places, the places I'm going, you're not allowed. <laughs> he's, he knows what he's doing, right? Like he yeah. realizes what he's saying. He is a great heel. I've got to give him that. He's a good heel. I'm back on his I'm side again. I'm by a herd of kids right now. I've never felt more like a messiah. Come on, guys. Let's go. Or a Hollywood producer. He's definitely on something. He's definitely on something. Am I on life, baby? Are you poor? All right, who can do the best wheelie? Who can do the best wheelie? Whoever can do the best wheelie gets their little dick sucks. What? I thought they didn't have freedom of speech in London. I feel like even in America, you can't say that. That's uh. Brad the chat just offered to blow black miners. Wait, so the like coal miners? Like yes, yes, coal miners. Yes. Oh, that explains. It's all the soot. <laughs> he just said whoever does the best wheelie gets their dick sucked. What the. F Fuck is wrong with this asshole? <laughs> All right, who can do the best wheelie? Who can do the best Me. wheelie? Whoever can do the best wheelie gets their little dick sucks. What? <laughs> they all just stopped right away and looked back at him. Well, I guess he guaranteed that none of them won. <laughs> <laughs> they all just stopped doing wheelies right away and went, "Wait, what?" Hey, camo trousers, come here, pal. No, he actually looks like the youngest of the posse, and he's just—he's put you guys to shame. And he's. Go tell that guy what you just said. Go tell that guy. I 
No! No! Oh, they're going to tell this guy that he just offered to suck their dick. He looks like he looks like he's either getting what this is or he's about to flip real fast. Oh, and- no. How, dude, th- this needs to be a new series for Brad the Chad called Me Talking My Way Out of Ass Whoopings. <laughs> He just needs to start hanging around people of color because they just, they inspire him for so much. Tell him that. I love black people. I love them. I love them. These airports have never looked so white. No, no. No, man. Look, they're telling lies. They're under the age of 10. They, they, they don't have, they, they are still learning how to lie. I was, I actually felt my, I was tense. In that moment, I, I really was like, "Is he gonna flip out on this dude? Be like, hey, what the fuck are you doing?'" But yeah. no, the lies about me. I'm the least racist guy you'll find. Well, the little shits managed to procure my ID, and I don't know how they did it. But um, this little asshole has my identification card, and I'm gonna need it back, pal. Mr. Bradley Anthony Spence. Bradley. Fuck. <laughs> You're right, Spence. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was doing better when I had my piece of uh, identification. Hand it over, man. Name your price. Name your price. Ten pounds. No, no, 130. No, how, about, how about we settle on two pounds? You guys can go get yourself up. Dude, Brad, the Chad fucked up so bad in this video that he's now being held up by a bunch of kids. <laughs> Once again, now I'm back on his side. I'm like, hey, man, he's a piece of shit, but he is getting roped by 10-year-olds now. Yeah. It's just a pack of uh, Skittles or something. Ten pounds, ten pounds, ten Can I do that to you? Give us all of that, all of that. I want all of that for this pack. I want all of that. About three pounds, eh? Yeah. Yes. Can I wear your sunglasses? Who, who's got the ID? Can I wait? Wait, can I wear your sunglasses? That money in the sunglasses. Yeah, that money. Hell no. The sunglasses cost more than your goddamn bicycle, you little cretin. There. Now pass me the ID first, nigger. you little rascal. You friggin' nigger. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Disavow. And notice how it's the person of color whipping that one out. Disavow, disavow. Di- hey, buddy, this is America. That's our word. Thank you very much. Oh, I'd, I'd like to point out, someone did warn us that there were N-bombs in this. Okay, should we maybe skip past the kids? Oh, wow, he talks to those kids for a while. Now he's in a clothing store? Oh no. I am severely bruised after that motherfucker calls me harm. Wait, what? Hold on. Martially art trained, I'm... I ain't having that shit. What the racist? Y'all are martially art trained, I ain't having that shit. No, no, no. I ain't a walking, talking, punching bag. Oh, he, he, got cu- hit okay, he cut that off. I am severely bruised after that motherfucker calls me harm. You got spit on your lip. I think Two it's minutes time left. to go to the motherfucking alehouse. Let's do this! Oh, God. This is something I'd love to see someone screaming while I'm close shopping. Minute and a half left. Is Brad the Chad going to get punched in the head? I'm back. I changed my mind. I, I, I'm willing to pay the extortionate prices of this place. Well, you don't seem like man. Well, you boys don't seem like management to me. You turn that off, mate. You turn this on the fucking film, mate. Oh, the, these are like uh, old, hardened, grizzled British drinkers. They are not going to tolerate some little shit coming in here with a camera. This yeah. would be the one where I would love to see him just pummeled by five people. Your ale house? This ale house ain't big enough for the three of us, cowboy. Oh, oh shit. That is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the wrong thing to say. Might as well have called him John Smith, asshole. Yeah. Oh, I got him coming from all angles. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. 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 Come on, man. Whoa. Come on. We've asked you to stop. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And don't come (laughs) fucking back. Dude, does he have him in a headlock? I have no idea. Good on this guy if he does. All right, all right, all right. I'm leaving, man. Hey, that guy is sold in me. I got it all on camera. You're going to jail, you bald motherfucker. That guy was groping me. 
No, I ain't falling for your games. I ain't falling for your games, you bunch of gropers, you bunch of molesters trying to put your hands on me. I'm barely even of age. And they fucked up my camera real good. <laughs> I think it's time to pack it up. Shit. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm hitting the road now. It's been another explosive day in Reading, motherfucker. And I expect you to tune in next time because, uh, well, it's the Brad the Chad channel, baby. Rock and roll. And he ends on cringe. I don't know. Do I want to go back and see how he redeems it from there? I don't uh, well, you got to stay tuned for the next episode of Brad, Brad and Chad. Oh, man. People are saying in the chat, Brad 2024 fired ginger cheese with five bucks says those. Okay, I can't say that word. There you are. Those aren't that fast. Oh, shit. They had bikes. That's what was helping them. That got out of hand quickly for old Brad. I can't Chad. believe he cut that line as much as he did with uh with just every single person that he, he pushed him away and he brought him right back. And then they stole from him apparently. Johnny 1.0 says if cringe lord wasn't a thing, it is now. Yeah, P Fletch says I like Brad the Chad. He's my kind of troll. He somehow finds a way to not get the shit beat out of them in all of these circumstances. The fuck? You got a bunch of air and then don't wreck the show. Like just don't don't talk if you can't if you can't hear anything, don't talk. How about that? That would be good. We'll just uh continue on the way we're going here. 70% of people cheating though at bachelor and bachelorette parties. That's that would mean like ev like everybody has to break up after a bachelor and bachelorette party, or there's a lot of he and she whores who are. I, I, I gotta mute Johnny if he's gonna whisper and shit while he's fucking around. Um, that means there's a lot of he and she whores that are just like getting away with cheating and keeping their relate. Oh no, I don't like that. You gotta you gotta get caught. You have to get caught, and there has to be justice. Uh, the other 30% are lying. Uh, Chevrolet JB says, did you mute yourself, Aaron? No. Why I, is this mute? I've, I've done absolutely nothing. Um, I'm sending Johnny a thing because I'm not going to listen to him talk uh, while he can't hear us. I'm going to send him a message quick and just tell him log out and log back in because uh, I, I don't want... Okay, we can hear you. Stop mumbling. Go. Log, stop it! Log out, log back in. I'm getting really annoyed. But like, even if I, you know, there's an old uh, broadcasting thing that says just treat every mic as though it's uh, it's a hot mic. Farron says Johnny is high as fuck right now. I think he might be. You can't hear Aaron Johnny, but we can hear you. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, there was a lot of air in his mic, and then when he had all the air in his mic, it was just it was all fucked up we're gonna we're gonna knock him off aaron hit the crowder rant light yeah exactly i hit the crowder light and i just said you know what forget it we're done log out and log back in i'm starting to lose my fucking mind how would you not know by then that like it's all fucked up turn it off turn it back on do you guys want to just watch him struggle with this should we just is this our show now let's no let's just watch johnny struggle with this Somebody's saying he uh, he he unplugged his headphones. Just uh, fuck it. No log out and log back on. Stop. stop talking. You're still on the show. Stop talking. Everybody write to Johnny right now and say log off, log back in. Log off, log back. Oh, I can't even type. Log back in, Johnny. Everybody write it. Everybody. Roadcasters. Everybody. Done. Shut up. If you if they can't hear. And the thing isn't working, then you don't keep mumbling. There you go. <laughs> Here he comes. Now he'll head back in and we'll get Johnny back. 
I just, I can't imagine. Like, if you're on a show and you go, and you just start going, and by the way, notice that every time he talked, he leaned into his microphone more as if that was going to help. He goes, Oh, I don't understand what the fuck is going on. I don't. Well, certainly don't talk into the microphone while you're still logged in. And by the way, I like the, I like the windows. I thought he'd be in again by now, but yeah, I didn't mute him. He's fine on here. Uh, Johnny Aaron said, "Keep talking. It's bound to fix itself." <laughs> Hobo chili recipe with four ninety nine uh, says, "Thank you for that Whoopi Goldberg video. I have some local swelling in my nether regions." I'm so moist from the pre-coming. I mean, it happens to people. It's. Uh, I just want Hobo Chili Recipe to know that that is a perfectly normal reaction to Whoopi Goldberg giving someone a lap dance. Is he back? Nope, he's not back. Uh, Jiggle the handle, says Wasa Bista. Grandpa Johnny is confused by the fancy technology. It had happened a couple times today where Johnny had... He had, now I'm echoing. Now I can hear myself. Nope, now we're good. Now, can you hear me? Every time I join, it my audio disappears. But it's can you hear, but can you hear me now? I can't figure out what But can is. you hear me now? But can you hear me now? It was fine two seconds ago when I logged in. Here. Now, don't talk. Right, if uh, you can't hear me, don't talk. Don't talk while the show is on and you're having technical issues. I can't hear you, unfortunately. I know, so stop talking. Because you're interrupting the show. <laughs> Rex Start parody account with two bucks. <laughs> Just says, clip it. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, Dario Delfino says, this is bordering ableism. Uh, Roots Calhoun says, keep talking, dude. We're trying to get the levels right. <laughs> Yeah, because he can't hear me, but he can definitely see the chat. Woodchip, he says, is this a bit? I don't know. If it's funny, if you're enjoying it, then yeah, it's a bit. It's part of the show. You know what? Everyone in the chat, just tell Johnny to talk louder, and that if he yells into the microphone, it's easier for us to hear him. And that it... <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah, just go in. Everybody in the chat right now, just tell Johnny, lean closer to the mic, talk more. The only way to fix it is by talking more. Let's, you know what? I'm going to be lean in, Aaron, today. I'm going to steer into the skid on this one. Uh, we are, what What are we, 140 away from today's goal, and we got a half hour before we rattle the cans and play the music. We've got Kelly Jones cease and desist coming up in overtime today. Whether Johnny's here or not, I think you guys are going to really enjoy that. So if you feel like contributing to the program, uh, there's the PayPal, there's the Streamlabs, there's the Venmo. Uh, if you guys like it, if you're enjoying yourself right now, consider throwing in a couple of bucks to help the program. Uh, Wasabista says, Johnny, breathe into the mic. Aaron likes that. Uh, your gain is down on the mic. Just talk louder, says Roots Calhoun. Uh, Johnny, respond in sign language. We can't hear you. <laughs> he's not back yet. I'm wondering if he's not just rebooting the whole shooting match. Oh. Uh, I just I really want to see where this goes. I just I, I like all of a sudden I just heard a big whoosh of air and then I couldn't hear anything that Johnny was or Johnny couldn't hear anything we were doing. A big whoosh of air. What is he there? Anything that Johnny was Are you there? well yeah, but now I can hear myself. Now I can't hear myself. Can you hear me? Is he there? No, now I'm echoing. Johnny, I'm echoing. Now I can't hear myself. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. No, I that's mute behind. Everything. No, that's behind. You're not hearing me in real time. Now I can, hear myself. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. No, I that's mute behind. Everything. No, that's behind. Now we're, starting a, now we're starting a round thing. Now it's just going around and around and around. And there's a big echo. Now a, for a second. And now you're just going to say yes. And every time you say yes, there's going to be a new thing. And now it's just going to be you saying yes, I can hear you. Johnny, can you hear me? Oh. And now it's just going to be you saying, yes, I can hear you. Can Johnny, yes. can you hear me? Oh. No, you're supposed to say yes when I say, can you hear me? No, I can't. This Johnny, is, can you hear me? This is a giant clusterfuck. No, I you're hate supposed Zoom. to say yes when I say, can you hear me? No, I can't. This Johnny, is, can you hear me? No, can you hear me now, though? I hate Zoom. 
No, like, can you hear me as I speak to you now? Can you hear me now, though? I hate you. No, like, can you hear me as I speak? No, are you able to hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? If you don't answer me, I can't have you. Uh, I can't know if you know this. Are you able to hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? If you don't answer me, I can't have you. Uh, I can't know if you know this. No, Johnny, you need to respond to the words I'm asking you. Can you hear my voice right now? No, Johnny, you need to respond to the words I'm asking you. Can you hear my voice right now? No, I know you can hear my voice because I can hear it coming out of your speakers. So you should be able to hear me. Why don't you just say something? I can hear it coming out of your speakers. So you should be able to hear me. Why don't you just say something? It. There's are, echo cancellation are you on? mad at me like are you upset do i like do i need to write a letter or something echo cancellation are you on? mad at me like are you upset do i like do i need to write a letter or something did i say the n-word and i'm not aware of it oh he left again <laughs> oh my god i hate to be the <laughs> I hate to be the filthy beggar of the uh, internet world, but if that's not worth knocking out today's goal, I don't know what is. If I'm not dancing for your coins and dancing for your dollars today, I don't know what to tell you. Technical support. We'll do it live, says Timothy with 25 bucks. Thank you very much, buddy. 115 away from knocking it away. Only a handful more of you, and we hammer this thing out, and we do overtime today. Overtime could actually just be us handling our technical issues with Johnny. And then, did you hear him? He said, I fucking hate Zoom. It's not Zoom's fault. Zoom didn't do anything wrong. Why are we yelling at Zoom? Because that's what keeps changing oh. the settings on my computer. Johnny's here. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? Do you not hear me now? Guys, can you hear him? Oh, this is a bit. Can the people in the chat hear him at all? Hello? Oh, yeah. come on. I can't. If he's talking, I can't hear him. I mean, really? The mic's moving. So it says it's making audio. I don't Let's see. Oh, people are saying in the chat they can hear. Nope. Someone's saying he's muted again. Guy Sartell saying, no, I can't hear him. Okay. So it's not just me. Nope. Someone's saying he's muted. Oh, now I can hear myself. Yeah, I had to unmute the show for a second to see if it was actually if you're fucking with me. I can't tell. I see your lips. Now. I see his lips are moving, but I don't know what he's. I'm just fucking. Oh. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I am. I am. I have never had this issue with Discord or Streamyards or any of that. None of them. This is the only one where like we have to control all your settings for your camera, your microphone, and everything, and fuck all of them up. Random. Oh, man, that was fun. That was fun. We were having some fun while you were struggling the last time you logged in. I was mad at first because I you touched nothing. I was mad at first because you kept like talking into the mic really close, knowing we couldn't hear you and that there was a problem, but we still had you on. So you were like, I would try to get into the next thing. And I'm like, oh, he'll, he'll pick up when he picks up. And then you can, yeah, like, I'm a dick. I'm sorry. And then you go, this thing is so stupid. What happened? And I'm like, shh. But then the next time you came on after you logged back on and it wasn't working, I'm like, ah, let's just roll with it. Let's fuck with him. Uh, the ugly fuckling says, I'm with Wayne. I question the validity. Well, I mean, you can go here. I mean, look right on the, there. Go look right on that. It's the same person that sent me the cease and desist via email. Same email and everything else. If I go to that channel, if I go to Kelly Jones, uh, Alex Jones, tra the only video she has is Alex Jones, Travis County hearing three years ago. Uh, Alex Jones has been unlawfully withholding the children in violation of court orders since October 2019, blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, that's, that's where Kelly Jones conducts all of her legal business from. I mean, she's so quick to jump on the legal battle on YouTube. I don't know why you wouldn't want to keep your kids around that lady. She looks like a stable, balanced individual. Got all her ducks in a row. <laughs> Uh, Dario Delfino says she made me sympathetic to Alex Jones, so she has unlocked an achievement today, right? I mean, that that's what Alex dealt with for years and years. Should have uh, been his defense in that in that court thing. They're like, hey, you said all this to Flammers. Look, I was lashing out. I was married to this crazy bitch, and it took a while to wear off. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, April says, I wondered for a while if this was actually her, too. 
because a certain someone likes to send me emails portrayed as others, but I believe this is her. Oh, yeah, there's a crazy guy who pretends he's got a YouTube channel and uh, he pretends to be other people and sends you... E he sends you emails of what he's doing, but he pretends like he's a concerned listener and go, look what this guy's doing. It's like, are you that desperate for viewership, dude? That's... That's sick. That's a mental problem. You, yeah. you do get, though, that like that letter isn't worded the same, I'm sure. I'm sure those other letters aren't worded as well as this. Right. I mean, it's got her like it's got her like company thing on it and everything else. And not only that, it's got like specific references to specific cases that they were involved in. Like, yeah, it's guys, it's Kelly Jones. And uh, she and is it's not a bad look. For her. Yeah, she is not happy. With uh, with steel toe, sorry guys, just uh, the beginning of the end. We have crossed Kelly Jones. All right, Johnny, let's try to get about eight to ten minutes of this uh, Florida body cam video in. Uh, some okay. cra some crazy blonde chick decided to call the cops. Uh, a woman was distraught over a custody battle for her son and claims that the father had kidnapped them. Let's see who we end up believing. What's going on? What's going on? All right, why are you clutching your boob? She's going to tell you why in a little bit. Do you want me to Someone spoil it for you? She, she just, got punched in the tent? No, she just had tit surgery. What, like breast enlargement? Yeah, she had, she had her tits done. So she's holding her tits because they hurt. This woman has been repeated. Business expense? Uh, this woman has been repeatedly calling 911 and claiming that her ex-husband has kidnapped their 15-year-old son. Talk to me. Did you have surgery or something? Yeah, I have one. Calm down, though. Fuck. Even worse. I'm not trying to. This is fucked up. I talked to you under your eyelashes. You're fucked up. Two days. <laughs> I talked to you and your eyelashes. You're fucked up. <laughs> She's calling them out one by one. Talk to you and your fucking weak chin. You're a pussy. Fucked up. Two days ago, I fucked her. Two days ago? I don't know. Two days ago. Oh, well, I fucking... I'm stopping. I'm gonna go in my... I'm gonna change. Yeah, I talked to you. I don't know you. I've never spoken to you before. Two days ago. I can pull up my we're, fucking we're computer. Not well, I can show you. Two days ago. Maybe she was not, but she's the one that responded. I did not. Yeah, maybe she wasn't working, but she was the one who responded. You know what cops do right. on their day off? They work. Hey, man, it's my day off. I'm not even supposed to be here today. I'll hold down the scene. You go ahead and get a yeah, donut. You got, you got the Dante Hicks of the police department, apparently. Fine, ma'am. I've never I, been here. I can promise you. She wasn't there she two wasn't days there. ago. I wasn't I don't, I don't. a liar. She might forget. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not, okay. So, I, it's okay. But I don't need this shit right now. <laughs> you, you called, called us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this shit right now. Oh. You called us, though. I don't need it. I am. I am. For a reason. What is your name? Hold on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Not again. This is the second time I saw what is your name, and it just gets worse from there. This is what happens when you don't respond to Kelly Jones' cease and desist. When was the last time we were actually out here? I don't think there's any. Uh, Check on two. Twelve five. It's a nice house, a though. Can you put yeah. the last time we were at we were out here? You can hear her like panting, breathing from outside. Sure. What is she doing in there? Having a nervous breakdown. Do you need another eye to open up so you can see? You, yeah, I'm, should I'm you trying. be wearing some special stuff? No, I need. Oh, she's got her fucking tits out now. They're like, should you be wearing some special stuff? Like your fucking titties are out now, like in front of all the cops. <laughs> oh my god. The only so thing well, holding those saline sacks in are stitches, my lady. I feel like you should have a bandage or two oh, on there. Oh no. I'm hurt. <laughs> You guys can go. I'll call the police. I don't want you. Did she just say, I'll call the police? I don't want you? Yeah. 
Because I, I guess this what what these guys from Home Depot. I thought these were the cops. Oh shit! Cops. I think this is. This. I'm listening. Oh yeah. Push a little button. I talked to you two days ago. No, ma'am, you did I not. I told you everything that I needed help with. No, ma'am, you, you did not. not help me. She looks like B Rabbit's mom in Eight Mile. <laughs> she looks like Kim Basinger in Eight Mile. I don't know if it's previous work experience, but this lady looks like a, a lady of the pole. I just oh. feel like those allegedly, allegedly. I have no idea. I'm just a, like I said. I uh, she looks familiar. If you want to tell me what you need help with, oh no, please no, no, please no, 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 over and over again. Your dogs are already outside. You don't have to fucking push me like that again. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, she's on some kind of pills or something, in my opinion. She's on something. Yeah, she's certainly not so. well balanced. No. I can't I believe have... they don't want her to have the kid. Clearly going through some sort of distress here. Yeah, so I let's... am. I just had a fucking surgery. I have not seen my son in a fucking month. Why haven't you seen your child? A deal with my fucking attorney. It has nothing to do with that. But so no, child don't child. ever fucking touch me again. Get the fuck away from me. And you too. I just can't deal with this. I can't. You're not invited. I already have everything. No, it's not funny. You're canceled from the birthday hours. party. You're not invited. You're not invited. You don't get cake. Girl, ma'am. It's okay, that's fine. I don't do all sense and I just need to like I'm not What medications do you take? I don't. You don't I'm dealing with my son. Have you ever taken medication? I have not seen my son in a month. Okay. Have you been drinking today? No, not at all. I'm fucking working. I'm dealing with fucking work. I'm dealing with my fucking son. My son's dad I will not even give him a fucking phone. He came back to his house so I can call him. How old is your son? He's 15. Okay. okay. I know you're asking. It's okay. Well, your son has, like, legally your son can choose where he wants to be. Yeah, at 15, he does have some rights at yeah. that point. I mean, he's not free and clear, but... I think at 13 years old, you get to decide, if, like, where you want to be. I wasn't trying to... Okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's because my son is kidnapped, okay? okay? I have not seen my son in a month, okay? okay? I'm trying... To, I'm just trying to understand what's That's going fine. on. That's fine. Okay, who kidnapped your son? My ex-husband. His okay. name is Clay Butler. Clay, C-L-A-Y-B-U-T-L-E-R. Okay. He and does where, this all the time. Where is he now? He kidnaps my son all the time. All he does this all the time. Him and Gerard Butler take my son and they go on crazy adventures. Yeah. He just, he kidnaps him every day. He just kidnaps my kid. Uh, he pulls up in the driveway. My kid goes into the car and then they drive off and then they stay away from my crazy ass. It's a kidnapping. Kidnaps him from school every afternoon and then brings <laughs> him back every morning. It's fucking weird, man. In Orlando. Okay. And why are you saying that? He's been kidnapped. Do you guys have like a court agreement or? Oh, oh. A, minute ago, a minute ago, you were saying that you were dealing with the court process. Is that, is that like he has the question. trial waiting for that? Are you asking me questions or is he now? Because for, for one second, okay. I'm going to stop you, and now I'm going to get a recording. Hold on. Do not. <laughs> oh, that, no. that is a fucking guy dealing with a crazy bitch, whether it's a relationship or a police officer. At some point, you just go, I don't need to be right anymore. I don't need to be right. I just need to be <laughs> away from this bitch. I'm going to go stand over here. I'm going to fuck off. Oh, don't okay. push me that hard. I'm going to record. Don't you ever fucking touch me like this again. Listen. You touch me hard. I want to phone Listen. for a question. You're not going to no. keep putting your hands Stop. in my face. No, I'm not name. going to. I'm going to get you my are. phone. No, I'm not. He's no, hurting right me. Right now, who's hurting you? He just did. Over here. <laughs> no. What the? Okay. He didn't touch me hard. You. I was talking to you. Back up, and you won't get pushed again. Back up. I'm talking to back don't up. talk to me like that back and don't up. talk to me again. Oh, could you have a authority? Could you have eyelashes? Let's go talk. Because <laughs> you have authority and you have she eyelashes. She's really hung up on the eyelashes. I mean, the eyelashes were the whole reason that this lady was not invited oh. to the birthday party in the first place. Yeah, you did. You got disinvited from the birthday party because of those fucking eyelashes. You think because you have authority and you have eyelashes? <laughs> You have eyelashes. You have eyelashes? Uh, and this gives you power over me. <laughs> were we going for? Were we diving for the same loose ball? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about your. You've merely adopted long eyelashes. I was born with them. 
back up. Yes, Let's go find who you are. And you're a My fucking. My name is Deputy De Leon with the Indian River County Sheriff's fine. Office. I'm sure. That is exactly who I am. Okay, thank you okay, so much. Okay, and if you that. run up on me one more time, you're gonna get pushed a lot harder. By Do you the way, understand? I never touched you. Okay. By the way, do you want to understand? He touched me twice. Do you need help figuring out what's going on with your son? Do you understand? Do you need help? Back up your shit right now, ma'am. Do you understand? Do you want help with your son or not? Do you want to help to understand? Yeah, I want four more cops out here right now because not. I want four more. She just wants. I want the FBI. I want the ATF. I want it looking like fucking Mount Carmel out here. Do you understand me? Do you want a sandwich? I'll go in the house. Like, what are you doing, lady? One of you are doing this, and don't ever touch me. You're too close. If I can touch you, that means you're too close. Uh, No, I just walk in my house. So you're not welcome. Do you? You Do you need help with your son or not? No, you guys can go. So if you call back again, it's us that's coming out here. That's fine. Thank you. So if you don't need our help, don't call us. Well, guess what? I will call because. Okay. Well, if you call, there's calls coming out. Okay. Then do your man. If you um, call, it's us coming out. You ready? Then do your fucking job. Touch me again. Touch me again. You were in the how you could oh, they were blacking out because her address is on there, not because her tits okay. were out. Okay. Stop, please. Back up. Stop touching me. I just gotta I've got sore fake titty. Oh no, she did not pull out. Oh, I paused it too soon. Ma'am. Stop, please. Back up. Stop touching me. I just got a fucking surgery, and you're fucking touching me when I Man. fucking can't fucking feel anything. She just pulled her fucking tits out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Man, no back up, and I won't push you. And then she races up to her. Yeah. Stop fucking pushing me. Look at my titties. <laughs> this is Stop like when someone fucking- grabs your head. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Touch me! Up, You're touching me, you suck! Hands your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you fucked up. You're not hurting! Now you've got a free hospital stay. Yeah. Hands behind your back. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Yeah, right. So cooperate and you won't hurt. Yeah, if you would, you know, let them cuff you, you'd be okay. Please stop hurting me! Please. Don't hurt me. You believe they really are hurting me. Just stop from hurting me. I will not hurt anybody. They're not as hurting me. Oh, this is boy. hurting me. I would never. Oh, that's hurting you. Stop. All right, maybe we'll finish the rest of this up on the evening show tonight. I don't know, but we are uh, we're getting way over time here. Uh, to griddle gorillas. It sounds like an episode of Simpcast without April, of course. How dare you, sir, to say something like that about such a well-respected program? Uh, Marley Analytics with five bucks says, "Send all the claims being made to Alex Jones." I would love to. I would love to send that to Alex. Uh, we'll be on uh, Anthony Cumia's show today at four thirty Central Time. Uh, also, uh, we will be back at seven o'clock tonight for the evening show. Johnny is going to be on at 2 p.m. Central Time on Just Kidding LLC on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Rumble. So subscribe on all of those platforms. And uh, so you got Johnny's show at 2. We'll be on Kumia after Johnny's show is over. And then the evening show will be on shortly after that. What a day. Full pack day. Full pack day. Johnny, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. And to the rest of you, take it easy, and we will talk to you tonight. (laughs) Oh no. <gasps> Jesus Guys. Christ. She okay, she started this one. You know how she started the first cease and desist by calling me Mr. Holt? Yes, I remember. So she sent a cease and desist and it wasn't even the right name. Um now she says, Dear so my email is Aaron M. Holt Radio at gmail.com. Uh she says, Dear Aaron I'm Holter radio (laughs) at gmail.com you're holter now i still have not received a message to my original may 22nd email time is tolling time is tolling time is tolling and the damage you your show and your co-host are causing me by willful defamation and injury is multiplying no it's not i bet nobody talks to her as you are a smaller broadcast she put broadcast in quotes that hurts my feelings Uh, Clearly engaged in deceptive trade for profit and self-aggrandizement. 
Rest assured that the only publicity you will receive from the vexatious and cruel defamation you have caused me, which is being reiterated by your very limited fan base, well, then it doesn't matter. Well, then, yeah, it's not affecting you. And the harassment <laughs> targeted and instigatory to your audience. Don't harass Kelly Jones. No. If she does shitty work, you can criticize it, but don't harass Kelly Jones. We, very on we only criticize what she put out. Will be coverage, if any, of my filing and summary mm -hmm. judgment on your intentional harm should you persist. I have requested information you will not provide so that I may properly serve you. I, I don't have to give you my information so that you can serve me. The information about my company is publicly available. You can find Steel Toe Media information. Uh, I have many pressing serious matters to address, and you are tying up my time with upset harassment, defamation, and by causing me to have to communicate with you. No, ma'am, you don't have to communicate with him. I mean, this is very unimportant, I'd say, in your life. I do not have a crystal ball, but modeling your business and fake news off that of others' failed arrogance and defamation will have no different result than that which has been reaped, reaped say, by the likes of Alex Jones, Liability and damages if there is equity in the court. You must withdraw the injurious broadcast and you must respond so that I may serve all parties properly. No, I don't. Texas allows service by publication and dodging service can result in a default judgment. I live in Minnesota. Minnesota. I am available to countermand each and every defamatory statement you made which you pulled out of your discriminatory in imagination. I have a discriminatory imagination. I'm telling you, she reads the thesaurus. Yes. However, there is abundant evidence in the public domain that what you assert is not true and that you made it up. It was all opinion, stupid. You literally, we literally didn't make anything up. By the way, didn't you at most say, wow, she seems a bit nutty? You played audio from the Daily Mail article. As such, you had the report by a large media outlet that contains my reasons for releasing the audio and other facts that they had to vet before publication that immediately prove your speculation defamatory in the statements you and your co-host made defamatory. I was questioning your motive. There I is no she... that that's like saying, oh, if I say I did this for this reason, nobody's ever allowed to theorize that I did it for this reason. Are you out of your mind? This is nutty. Yes. I think she's into you. Sure. I'm going to guess that is the only reason because she has nothing to go on here. I am just really glad she escaped that uh, ground ship when Leia strangled her with that chain. Uh, should this matter be brought in causes of action, you will incur significant expense in court costs and representation alone. Oh. The broadcast was and remains a willful act of harassment and effort. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Your response and action are legally demanded and required. Have some sense and have a heart. Cease and desist. Respond. See, that that last part, have a heart, that says everything. It's not. Ma'am, This you're searching. I put this in the chat when you covered the first email. 100% she misses the attention. She's searching for you. Yes. She put that recording out there for the public. And then afterwards, she's searching for anything with her name in it. She found us because we played it and we said, wow, this looks kind of crazy. And she just needs somebody to have a heart for her now because you yeah. know what? Alex doesn't care about her. And, and by the way, Kelly, my response is not legally demanded. Is that you even de a thing? You demanded it in an email. You sent me an email saying, talk to me. That's not legally demanded. We're reading a thesaurus looking for all the big words. I've never heard of some of these, uh, you know, sentences put together she in that is, fashion. She is a chore, boy. Yeah, it is incredible. I'm telling you, she just wants the attention. <laughs> if you were to type out a soulful, heartfelt email to her saying, oh, Kelly, I'm so sorry. And you know what? Upon further review, I listened to that tape again, and you really do sound like you were really put through it. Yeah. Oh, God, I bet she would gush all over that and post that everywhere and glorify you. Laughing Lion says, I'm convinced. Shut this down now. <laughs> Her bullshit pseudo-legalese word salad of made-up words is damaging my right. brain. We will counter-sue her for the loss of brain cells upon hearing her whining. Uh, pay the toll, Steve Holt, says Farron. Steve Holt, yeah. Egg Picker says, says the woman who used to run InfoWars. Yes. Uh, Wasabista right. with uh, 666 yen says, poor Alex, did he marry this bunny boiler? <laughs> it's enough to turn the frogs gay. Uh, this, oh God, Groove Vinegar, this cease and desist is as real as Sandy Hook. 
Has this reached Alex yet? No, it won't. Uh, Balls Deep, uh, gifting a membership to Cruise Red Eye. Thank you, Balls Deep. Appreciate that. Oh, boy. I really, that screams to me that it's just somebody starved of attention. Well, why do you think she released a 14? Yeah, why do you think she released a 14 year old recording? That is sick to me. Like, I. I can't imagine mentioning any of my ex's names publicly. Right. Anywhere. Like, okay, like that it's unimportant yeah. at this point. Someone says uh she was actually uh, uh during a Florida arrest, she went, I haven't seen my son in a month. <laughs> uh Groove Vinegar says, Did Kelly Jones me. have a recent boob job and called the cops? Yeah. Uh, Marley Analytics with five bucks says getting Jan six vibes right now. It's pretty bad. You're her January six. I'm Ray Epps for her. Yeah, but wasn't he a plant? Uh, Farron says she lost custody of her kids. Uh, is that allegedly or did she? I have no idea. I don't want to speak on that. Women who lose custody of their kids, that's a big red flag. Yeah, do you know how bad you have to fuck up if, to lose your kids? If Farron is correct, that is actually astonishing to me yeah. because women do not, you can be an absolute loony bin and not lose your kids. I believe there are people, there are probably people who have blown crack smoke in their yeah. children's face as a baby and they got their kids. Absolutely. So, I mean, that is a really difficult thing for a woman to get her kids taken away. You got to try hard. And what she li- she said in that email that she's in Texas, right? Yes. In Texas, especially, I would uh, like that seems unheard of for a mother to get her children taken away. Uh, I've heard that if you even want to play in Texas, uh, you've got to have a fiddle in the band. <laughs> That's just what I've heard. Why are you turning away from me physically? I was looking for my sanity. It ran away somewhere. I'll let you have this joke. And then I have to turn my back to you. (sighs) Should I send her an email back and say, hey, why don't you come on the show? I'd have Kelly Jones on the show. Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, Here, I'll respond to the email right now. Here you go. Um, Here we we are. Uh, This is just a private email not a legal document. <laughs> we made fun of you on a comedy show. Get a thicker skin. Everything was comedy and opinion of a of an item you released to the public. Yeah, it was a public item. Don't make me get Alex involved. <laughs> Why don't you Come on our show, and we can talk about what's really bothering you. Okay, that guy scared the piss out of me. Oh, our lawn guy? There's just a person that walked by. Should I say say hi to your kids for me? No. Okay, sorry. Uh, Enough salt in her wounds. Here, steel toe Joe Holt. (laughs) Steel toe morning show. There you go. She's going to think my name is Joe Holt. (laughs) Fucking dummy. All right, there we go. I just sent that off to Kelly Jones. Uh, Farron says, uh, please, before you send, go to the thesaurus and change the words to bigger ones. Yeah, that would have been a great idea. Ah, damn it. I really really do believe in my heart of hearts she just is sad that, like, she's not the wife of Alex Jones anymore, does not have the attention, nobody is sympathetic towards her, and then... You know, so she puts that video out there 14 years later as a Hail Mary. Like, guys, I'm still here and I'm living yeah. this hell, you know, and somebody hold me and yeah. you did not hold her. I did and not. you're upset. Or she's upset. Uh, 105. <laughs> I love that I said, don't make me get Alex involved. Uh, 105 bucks away from today's goal. Thank you very much. April wants it knocked out in the next hour. I feel like you guys are on your way. It'd actually be shitty to involve Alex in that. I, I would not want to traumatize him by putting him Wouldn't through that Wouldn't it be funny again. if he was like, I haven't put on my goddamn war uniform in a long time. Let's fucking do it, Joe. <laughs> Let's fuck. Steel Toe Joe and I are going to war together. Now, if he called you Steel Toe Joe, he you're call, running with it, right? He can call me Cunt Face McGay F word. I don't give a shit. Cunt Face McGillicuddy. I don't, nah, Seriously. McGillicuddy's hack. You're a mean person. Uh, Craig says, yeah, Stut John was extra creepy until she told him she was remarried. What? Really? He hit on Alex Jones's ex-wife. Fuck that guy gets wait, around. wait, wait. So she's remarried and still insists on talking about how bad her ex-husband is. I guess. 
Isn't that fun? Uh, Unwanted Reaper said, with 10 bucks says, just money. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. I like just money. And Hobo Chili Recipe with four ninety nine says, uh, did this woman go to prison, Malcolm, and start reading the dictionary to expand her vocabulary? Yeah, she started with aardvark. Aardvark. And then she got to the words <laughs> black and white, and she went, wait, this is white folks book, ain't it? Uh, 95 bucks oh. away from today's goal. Thank you, guys. You're within 100. Thank you for being so generoso. When she keeps mentioning your co-host, too, that was me that was on when we played that, right? Uh, should I be shaking in my booties? You should be. You should be very upset. Okay. About the wrath that is about. I love how Kelly, I, I love how Kelly Jones believes that if you send them an email saying, give me all your information, that that's a legal request for I'm your information. I'm telling you she's just trying to get here because she's into you. You think so? Yeah, because she keeps calling me just a co-host. She won't like recognize that I'm your wife or a female or anything. I guarantee you she's into you. Send her the link. She sent, She tends to be into gentlemen with a large uh, opinion and personality oh, and okay. a boomy voice. I see what this is about. Uh, Victor sent us our uh, Pastor Manning drop that we requested. Oh, cool. I want to throw that in here today, and then we've got a bunch of stories. We've gotten through barely anything. I mean, between the Mersh stuff and the politician speeches, we've been all over the place today. Uh, Victor already got us our drop last night of the thing that we requested. This is Pastor Manning from back when Obama was president. Here we Excuse go. Excuse you, it's Mac Daddy. The long-legged Mac Daddy. You freak, you homosexual, you man lover. <laughs> I can't imagine us playing that a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. Jesus Guys. Christ. <laughs> she okay, she started this one. You know how she started the first cease and desist by calling me Mr. Holt? Yes, I remember. So she sent a cease and desist, and it wasn't even the right name. Um, now she says, dear, so my email is Aaron Imholt Radio at gmail.com. Uh, she says, dear Aaron Imholter Radio <laughs> at gmail.com. You're Holter now. I still have not received a message to my original May 22nd email. Time is tolling. Time is tolling. Time is tolling. And the damage you, your show, and your co-host are causing me by willful defamation and injury is multiplying. No, it's not. I bet nobody talks to her. As you are a smaller broadcast, she put broadcast in quotes, that hurts my feelings, uh, clearly engaged in deceptive trade for profit and self-aggrandizement, rest assured that the only publicity you will receive from the vexatious and cruel defamation you have caused me, which is being reiterated by your very limited fan base, well, then it doesn't matter. Well, then, yeah, it's not affecting you. And the harassment <laughs> targeted and instigatory to your audience. Don't harass Kelly Jones. No. If she does shitty work, you can criticize it, but don't harass Kelly Jones. We, okay? very on we only criticize what she put out. Will be coverage, if any, of my filing and summary judgment on your intentional harm should you persist. I have requested information you will not provide so that I may properly serve you. I, I don't have to give you my information so that you can serve me. The information about my company is publicly available. You can find Steel Toe Media information. Uh, I have many pressing serious matters to address, and you are tying up my time with upset harassment, defamation, and by causing me to have to communicate with you. No, ma'am, you don't have to communicate with him. I mean, this is very unimportant, I'd say, in your life. I do not have a crystal ball, but modeling your business and fake news off that of others' failed arrogance and defamation will have no different result than that which has been reaped, reaped say, by the likes of Alex Jones, Liability and damages if there is equity in the court. You must withdraw the injurious broadcast and you must respond so that I may serve all parties properly. No, I don't. Texas allows service by publication and dodging service can result in a default judgment. I live in Minnesota. Minnesota. I am available to countermand each and every defamatory statement you made which you pulled out of your discriminatory in imagination. I have a discriminatory imagination. I'm telling you, she reads the thesaurus. Yes. However, there is abundant evidence in the public domain that what you assert is not true and that you made it up. It was all opinion, stupid. You literally, we literally didn't make anything up. By the way, didn't you at most say, wow, she seems a bit nutty? 
You played audio <laughs> from the Daily Mail article. As such, you had the report by a large media outlet that contains my reasons for releasing the audio and other facts that they had to vet before publication that immediately prove your speculation defamatory in the statements you and your co-host made defamatory. I was questioning your motive. There I is no she... that that's like saying, oh, if I say I did this for this reason, nobody's ever allowed to theorize that I did it for this reason. Are you out of your mind? This is nutty. Yes. I think she's into you. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to guess that is the only reason because she has nothing to go on here. I am just really glad she escaped that uh, ground ship when Leia strangled her with that chain. Uh, should this matter be brought in causes of action, you will incur significant expense in court costs and representation alone. Oh. The broadcast was and remains a willful act of harassment and effort. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Your response and action are legally demanded and required. Have some sense and have a heart. Cease and desist. Respond. See, that that last part, have a heart, that says everything. It's not. Ma'am, This you're searching. I put this in the chat when you covered the first email. 100% she misses the attention. She's searching for you. Yes. She put that recording out there for the public. And then afterwards, she's searching for anything with her name in it. She found us because we played it. And we said, wow, this looks kind of crazy. And she just needs somebody to have a heart for her now. Because you yeah. know what? Alex doesn't care about her. And, and by the way, Kelly, my response is not legally demanded. Is you that even de a thing? You demanded it in an email. You sent me an email saying, talk to me. That's not legally demanded. We're reading a thesaurus looking for all the big words. I've never heard of some of these, uh, you know, sentences put together she in that is, fashion. She is a chore, boy. Yeah, it is incredible. I'm telling you, she just wants the attention. <laughs> if you were to type out a soulful, heartfelt email to her saying, oh, Kelly, I'm so sorry. And you know what? Upon further review, I listened to that tape again, and you really do sound like you were really put through it. Yeah. Oh, God, I bet she would gush all over that and post that everywhere and glorify you. Laughing Lion says, I'm convinced. Shut this down mm. now. <laughs> Her bullshit pseudo-legalese word salad of made-up words is damaging my right. brain. We will countersue her for the loss of brain cells upon hearing her whining. Uh, pay the toll, Steve Holt, says Farron. Steve Holt, yeah. Egg Picker says, says the woman who used to run InfoWars. Yes. Uh, Wasabisto right. with uh, 666 yen says, poor Alex, did he marry this bunny boiler? <laughs> it's enough to turn the frogs gay. Uh, this, oh God, Groove Vinegar, this cease and desist is as real as Sandy Hook. Has this reached Alex yet? No, it won't. Uh, Balls Deep, uh, gifting a membership to Cruise Red Eye. Thank you, Balls Deep. Appreciate that. Oh, boy. I really, that screams to me that it's just somebody starved of attention. Well, why do you think she released a Take 14? Pity on yeah, this why person. do you think she released a 14 year old recording? That is sick to me. Like, I, I can't imagine mentioning any of my ex's names publicly. Right. Anywhere. Like, okay, like, that, it's unimportant yeah. at this point. Someone says uh, she was actually, uh, uh, during a Florida arrest, she went, I haven't seen my son in a month. <laughs> uh, Groove Vinegar says, did Kelly Jones me. have a recent boob job and called the cops? Yeah. Uh, Marley Analytics with five bucks says, getting Jan 6 vibes right now. It's pretty bad. You're her January 6th. I'm Ray Epps for her. Yeah, but wasn't he a plant? Uh, Farron says she lost custody of her kids. Uh, is that allegedly or did she? I have no idea. I don't want to speak on that. Women who lose custody of their kids, that's a big red flag. Yeah, do you know how bad you have to fuck up if, to lose your kids? If Farron is correct, that is actually astonishing to me yeah. because women do not, you can be an absolute loony bin and not lose your kids. I believe there are people, there are probably woman. people who have blown crack smoke in their yeah. children's face as a baby and they got their kids. Absolutely. So. I mean, that is a really difficult thing for a woman to get her kids taken away. You got to try hard. And what she li she said in that email that she's in Texas, right? Yes. In Texas, especially, I would uh, like that seems unheard of for a mother to get her children taken away. Uh, I've heard that if you even want to play in Texas, uh, you've got to have a fiddle in the band. <laughs> That's just what I've heard. Why are you turning away from me physically? I was just looking for my sanity. It ran away somewhere. I'll let you have this joke, and then I have to turn my back to you. 
Should I send her an email back and say, hey, why don't you come on the show? I'd have Kelly Jones on the show. Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, here, I'll respond to the email right now. Here you go. Um, here, we, here we are. Uh, this is just a private email, not a legal document. <laughs> we made fun of you on a comedy show. Get a thicker skin. Everything was comedy and opinion of a of an item you released to the public. Yeah, it was a public item. Don't make me get Alex involved. <laughs> Why don't you come on our show and we can talk about what's really bothering you? Okay, that guy scared the piss out of me. Oh, our lawn guy? There's just a person that walked yeah. by. Should I say say hi to your kids for me? No. Okay, sorry. Uh, Enough salt in her wounds. Here, Steel Toe Joe Holt. <laughs> Steel Toe Morning Show. There you go. <laughs> She's going to think my name is Joe Holt. <laughs> Fucking dummy. All right, there we go. I just sent that off to Kelly Jones. Uh, Farron says, uh, please, before you send, go to the thesaurus and change the words to bigger ones. Yeah, that would have been a great idea. Ah, damn it. I really, I really do believe in my heart of hearts. She just is sad that like, she's not the wife of Alex Jones anymore. Does not have the attention. Nobody is sympathetic towards her. And then, you know, so she puts that video out there 14 years later as a Hail Mary. Like, guys, I'm still here and I'm living yeah. this hell. You know, and somebody hold me, and no. you did not hold her, I did and not. you're upset. Or she's upset. <laughs> uh, 105, I love that I said, don't make me get Alex involved. Uh, 105 bucks away from today's goal. Thank you very much. April wants it knocked out in the next hour. I feel like you guys are on your way. It'd actually be shitty to involve Alex in that. I, I would not want to traumatize him by putting him Wouldn't it be funny if he was like, I haven't put on my goddamn war uniform in a long time. Let's fucking do it, Joe. <laughs> Let's fuck. Steel Toe Joe and I are going to war together. Now, if he called you Steel Toe Joe, he you're call, running with it, right? He can call me Cunt Face McGay F word. I don't give a shit. Cunt Face McGillicuddy. I don't, nah, McGillicuddy's hack. You're a mean person. Uh, Craig says, yeah, Stut John was extra creepy until she told him she was remarried. What? Really? He hit on Alex Jones's ex wife? Fuck, that guy gets wait, around. Wait, wait, wait. So she's remarried and still insists on talking about how bad her ex-husband is? I guess. Isn't that fun? Uh, Unwanted Reaper said, with 10 bucks says, just money. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. I like just money. And Hobo Chili Recipe with 499 says, uh, did this woman go to prison, Malcolm, and start reading the dictionary to expand her vocabulary? Yeah, she started with aardvark. Aardvark. And then she got to the words <laughs> black and white, and she went, wait, this is white folks' book, ain't it? Uh, 95 bucks oh. away from today's goal. Thank you, guys. You're within 100. Thank you for being so generoso. When she keeps mentioning your co-host, too, that was me that was on when we played that, right? Uh, should right. I be shaking in my booties? You should be. You should be very upset. Okay. About the wrath that is about. I love how Kelly, I... I love how Kelly Jones believes that if you send them an email saying, give me all your information, that that's a legal request for I'm your information. I'm telling you, she's just trying to get here because she's into you. You think so? Yeah, because she keeps calling me just a co-host. She won't like recognize that I'm your wife or a female or anything. I guarantee you she's into you. Send her the link. She sent, She tends to be into gentlemen with a large uh, opinion and personality oh, and okay. a boomy voice. I see what this is about. Uh, Victor sent us our uh, Pastor Manning drop that we requested. Oh, cool. I want to throw that in here today, and then we've got a bunch of stories. We've gotten through barely anything. I mean, between the Mersh stuff and the politician speeches, we've been all over the place today. Uh, Victor already got us our drop last night of the thing that we requested. This is Pastor Manning from back when Obama was president. Here we Excuse go. Excuse you, it's Mac Daddy. The long-legged Mac Daddy. You freak, you homosexual, you man lover. <laughs> I can't imagine us playing that a lot. <laughs> no. 